Ignition. You have a rifle. Why do you run up to point blank range? Good job, everyone. That ought to keep the Imperials off our back for a little while longer. Yellow leader, it seems I misjudged you. Hey. Oh. 
Oh no. Whoops. Katori's Museum. Where the past comes to life. Scrawled at the Okay. Battle it is. Now we gotta try and murder them really, really fast. Oh, I didn't actually want to murder Liam. Supercharge boost. Excellent. Okay. Maybe. Oh, what do you like to do for fun? Whatever's next. That's what's fun. I don't think I've ever had this happen before.
definitely like this increased venom power stuff. Well, that escalated quickly. It's time for a hard reset, Ted. Oh my god. Well. That's a hell of an intro. Hey. Um, this is maybe not the best crap. <laughs> oh god, when was the last save? This could be really bad. <laughs> That was maybe not my best move. Okay, folks. I don't know why the clip show keeps breaking on us. I don't know why it happens some nights and not other nights. It's real weird. But regardless, uh, we are going to be doing some Jurassic World Evolution 2 tonight. So welcome back to the Library of Lore. How's everybody doing? Let's get into the proper screenage here. There we go. Hope you're all doing well. I need to remember to use this more. I've had this uh, this view for years. And I even have a few clips of me actually using it in the past. I finally set up a uh, button on the stream deck so that I can use it conveniently. And I promptly forgot it existed, and so I never use it. Yep, big cam. So I have no excuses. We're going to have to try and use this more when alerts pop and raids come in and all that kind of fun stuff and when i'm starting and ending the stream so we're gonna play some jurassic world evolution 2 today because i want to take another crack at that last hour of the san diego park and see if we can't actually make it work we know the problem the pachycephalosaurus keeps getting lonely when all his friends die off and then he gets upset and then he wrecks the fencing 
and then the park has to close, and then we lose money, and then we go bankrupt. It's a predictable cycle that we need to break. So let's get into it. <laughs> I assume you're tired from celebrating Canada Celebration Day? Not really. I had some good food for dinner. I made a salad. I had other food as well, including hamburgers and hot dogs and stuff, but, uh, you know, mostly salad. And that's about it. Uh, it I, I was a little bit delayed getting started and everything because I do have family over and they're heading home tomorrow and all that, but, you know, all that's going back to normal tomorrow night, so it should be fine. So how's everyone doing? I hope you've all had a good Friday. Let's see. 4.30. Is that... I'm going to load specifically. We want Chaos Theory. On stream San Diego. 4.30, 4.30. Oh, but, I, you know, that's right. I, Yeah, that should be correct. Hopefully. We'll find out. Raise the desk. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Give me a few minutes. Let's at least get into the game. I didn't want to raise the desk yesterday, but I'll accept it today. Probably not for very long, but I will accept it today. We, we will raise the desk for a bit. Time for some exercise. Time for some not sitting down, cramping all the blood flow in my legs is really about it. It's not so much about exercise as about not... Yeah, not sitting down and wrecking havoc with my entire body. Uh, Alright, so we still have Tyrannosaurus Methuselah here. He is named Methuselah. He is 83. Oh god, okay. So how's our Pachycephalosaurus situation? Okay, we have... Oh, he's still content. That's good. There were four of them, so they haven't started dying off. That's perfect. Okay. We've been focusing on replacing the Tyrannosaurus, and as important as they are for the economic well-being of this park, not having the Pachycephalosaurus break out of their cages and terrorize the guests appears to be even more important. Burn some of those burgers off. I had one burger and one hot dog. All right, let's raise the desk. There we go. Let's see how long I last. Okay, so... In theory, we have four Pachycephalosauri. Or Sauruses. I'm not sure how that works with dinosaurs. Since they predate Greek and Latin. Oh, what? Why? Oh, okay. Um, we're not going to start researching then. But I am going to take stock of our research that we've got available. We need to do this one and we need to do that one. How's our hospital situation? Nobody on the platform. Nobody up there either. we we'll just have to wait until the park starts bringing in money again, which it should do on its own shortly. We must have just had some kind of sandstorm event. Yeah, okay. So we'll be back in the clear in no time. 
Bet it'll be an hour. Uh, hopefully. We can hope. Okay, we're almost positive again. I'll just run the game at a slightly faster speed. There we go. No longer negative. Now, what's it going to cost for this next bit? 200k. And we need two gears and nine flasks. We can do that easily. That's going to be our only priority. We have to get some more Pachycephalosauruses in so that we don't end up with one lonely Pachycephalosaurus busting out of his uh, enclosure. That's what kills this park every frickin' time. Now, the backup plan, if we absolutely can't do it, and the Rex is still alive, and do we actually have the Carnotaurs? Yeah, we do. No, those are such a Mimus. We do not have the Carnotaurs. Okay, so we spent a lot of time getting the Carnotaurs last time. We're going to spend that time on the Pachycephalosaurus. Let's also just check here. I don't want to assume. Okay, so we had such a Mimus. We were working on them. We I shouldn't be able to afford... Oh, yeah. Okay, four, four million. So we were working towards that, and that never happened. We need more of those guys. <clears throat> but we need the Pachycephalosaurus first. So we'll work on getting those. Then we'll work on the Carnotaurus. Then we'll work on the Suchomimus. Then we'll work on the Tyrannosaurus. And scattered amongst all of that will be all the emergency crap we have to deal with all the time, like dead dinos and sandstorms and putting up new amenities and all that sort of fun stuff. You having fun there, buddy? Staff Improvements 3. Staff Improvements 4, Research Available. Okay, I vaguely remember. I don't remember why I needed that. I think I needed to train up so that I could actually... You know what it might have been? I might not have had enough expertise to actually do this. To actually get those... Shadow, how's it going? It's been a while, Nick. I hope things are going well. Sorry I was uh, starting a bit later than usual. Canada Day and all, I had family over. I love this game. I find it very comparable to the first game. I really like that the campaign was so different. I wish there was more, like... I, I kind of wish that the whole going out and finding wild dinosaurs was a bigger part of the game modes that are not part of the campaign like it's kind of like they introduced this great new feature of the whole wild dinosaur concept and not so much doing the research and then it's limited to the campaign which is quite short and then all of a sudden you're done with that and you're back to gameplay that's fundamentally very similar to the first game which, you know, the gameplay in the first game, that was pretty awesome. I'm not complaining. But it just seems kind of wasted that there's all this new functionality and new conceptualization of how you get your dinosaurs and then it's just over. I played lots of the first game, but I barely touched this one despite buying it. I actually have played this one far more than the first game, I think. Let me check my Steam stats. I have 109 hours in this one so far, so actually not all that much. The first game... 34 hours, wow. I really didn't play the first one all as, as much as I thought I did.
18 years, I know. I played lots of the first game, but I've barely touched this one. So dinosaur species are invariant plurals. I'm not familiar with that term, although I think I can guess at what it means. I like the first one, except for the end game that felt... The only way to increase difficulty was disasters every two minutes. Oh, no. I don't think I ever got to the end game. Well, I mean, I only played for 35 hours, so... I almost certainly didn't get to the end game. Ah, yes, okay. That confirms my suspicion. Thank you, Eranor. So what have you been up to, Nick? I'm just trying to keep Jurassic Park San Diego here from being destroyed by Pachycephalosaurus. You would think rogue tyrannosaurs would be the real threat, but I've actually had very little trouble from these guys. Well, this one's the only one left. He's far outlived his usual lifespan estimate. So he's named Methuselah. But the tyrannosaurs have been very well behaved. The problem is, we keep coming up on this problem. This is my second or third attempt at doing this particular scenario. This is Chaos Theory mode. And where are the Pachycephalosaurs? There they are. There's a few of them. I have another one, but these three here. These guys with the big bony foreheads. <laughs> They're very close to their end of life. Three of them are going to die off shortly. Within the next hour or so, real time. As soon as that happens, the fourth one that's remaining is going to get extremely lonely, and he's going to... What? Your attention, please. A generous viewer has just gifted a subscription. Thank you so much. I really appreciate the gift sub. That's really, really kind. I really appreciate that. That's really, really cool. So, uh, yeah. Three of these guys will die off. The fourth one will die off eventually, too, but it won't matter at that point, because what happens is uh, these guys have a minimum population threshold of three. So once they're a couple below that and there's only one of them remaining, he gets so lonely and upset that he bashes his way out of the enclosure. You have to put all your guests into the, uh, into the shelters. I'm going to hemorrhage money to a ridiculous degree. The park will go bankrupt, and it won't matter that the dinosaur has only maybe a few days left to live at most. <laughs> no worries. No worries, Shadow. Spamming the chat is... Uh, you, well, you're not spamming the chat. If you're contributing to the conversation, that's as much of a big help, if not more, even than the sub. It's always good to have people in here active and talking. All right, so tough to cover 18 years, but long story short, moved to Europe and was working in Sweden for a half a decade. Don't be damn, but back in Canada now working for EA Sports. Very cool. I, I, I know better than to ask what games you are, were, what, okay. Did I not just get finished saying that Escaping dinosaurs were less of a problem than the Pachycephalosaurus. What the hell are you doing out of your cage? Where's the breach? Where is the breach? What the heck? How did you get out? There's no break in the fence. Uh, though it does occur to me that this is a low security fence. Why did I do this? What? How on earth did he escape? Am I missing something blatantly obvious? Is there a hole that my brain is just passing right over? I can't find a hole in this fencing anywhere. Papaya, what the hell are you doing? This looks like it's secure.
can you build a top security pen and just stick the packy in there is isolation until you can get a second one um possibly i could put him in the quarantine pen oh what do we have oh shoot i think it's beginning oh no that's not a pachycephalus r that's struthiomimus We'll just pause the escaped dino. My favorite part of this game is setting up the roads and being super uncompromising with having everything line up perfectly. I am very definitely not doing that. Although in this game, I'm actually a little more picky about it than I am in certain other ones. But, I mean, you can see from my track layouts, they actually, the, the track tours they bother me with how difficult they make it to make everything line up. But, you know, the other paths... Actually, I guess I haven't done as terrible a job with this particular layout as I usually do. I haven't gone off-grid too much. Okay, well... Maybe this pen is a better example where I just kind of roughly follow the bounds of the map. Uh, what was I doing? I was looking for the Pachycephalus R's. Not you guys... Are they in here? I think they're in the next one over. Yeah, here they are. Status check, status check. Okay. I'm at such a loss. I have no idea how this guy got out. Uh, oh, right. I wanted to find these guys because I wanted to see their security rating. And I think it actually says that in here. Um, hmm. Tyrant, what the heck? How does he have a an infamy level of four? How are you a tyrant? He's only won one fight. What the heck? Amazing. Does the database entry tell you? I wish the database was a little more useful. I want every bit of information available to you at any given time about the dinosaurs when you look at it, but it really just gives you a Wikipedia page. Okay, so we need a status update check before we can get that information. Oh, this guy doesn't need a check yet, though. Population, no ailments. It's got to be here somewhere. If it's security level 4, then I could solve the problem by upgrading the fencing, potentially. But the other option, if the Tyrannosaur is still alive, when we're down to a single Pachycephalosaurus, we could tranquilize him and put him in with the T-Rex and let the T-Rex deal with the problem for us. That could be, Aaron Lord. That could be. No problem. No problem. Okay, so technically this guy's not in a pen. It's really unnerving me that he apparently managed to Houdini out of the cage without breaking it. Because now I can't trust that it's not going to happen again. Okay, and I'm... Actually, there doesn't seem to be anyone... Well, there's these guys, and you, you're probably all freaking out, you're running away. I'm not gonna close the, oh, yeah, okay, so they're running around. A little bit of a panic. It's okay, don't worry, he eats fish, he doesn't eat people. I'm not 100% certain that's actually true, but we're gonna take it on faith that he doesn't eat people. There we go. Now, while they are distracted... Actually, I wonder if maybe... Oh, 
tranquilize them too and i'm going to start upgrading this because i can't believe i left it at a low level fence like that that was not a low level fence that's freaking level four what Should they be able to... I mean, they didn't break out of it, but... Wish I could remember where it told you. Oh, security rating 5, so they can break out. Okay, so... Security rating 3, what's the rating on these fences here? Oh, 2, okay. I'm going to see about upgrading this. This is actually going shockingly well. Is that a pun with the electric fences? Um, I can neither confirm nor deny. But actually, no, it, it wasn't intended to be a pun. But now that you've pointed it out, I regret that it was unintentional. It really should have been completely intentional because that is very definitely something that I would do. No, not to worry, folks. Not to worry. It'll be okay. Oh, shoot. I forgot. I'm trying to build up money so we can do stuff. All the terrified people makes me smile. This is a container of... Or uh, an enclosure, rather, of herbivores. Oh. Um, hang on. Okay, those are the only threats. Are they back in their enclosure again? Yes. This guy's okay. They're still lonely. Still weirding me out beyond words that he was out of the enclosure somehow. Why are we losing money so badly? I think I've succeeded in finding a shortcut to uh, bankrupting the park, is what's happened here. So we're just digging ourselves deeper into a hole that we don't seem to be recovering from. It's not so much in progress. Uh, oops, that wasn't what I wanted. This is a what-if scenario. Um... Jurassic World Evolution 2 comes with Chaos Theory mode, which basically sends you back into the movies to take on what-if scenarios. This one is 
the Lost World Jurassic Park 2, where the what-if scenario is, what if InGen had not given up on the concept of opening Jurassic Park San Diego? So you can see the city's right there. We're not on the island. This is the mainland. So we're working on this park, and they had begun construction and abandoned it partway in. This scenario has you take it over, and they've already got most of this octagon laid out. Now, most of the fencing is gone. They only really give you the paths, but you can build the fences in there and uh, build around it, and then, you know, you can expand from that point on. There's lots of usable space over this way that I could be using, but haven't started to yet because I haven't really felt the need. I'm basically just trying to save the park from bankruptcy and not doing a terribly good job at it. Uh, uh, okay, so we did drop into a little bit of a pit, but it's starting to turn around. The big question now is, is it going to recover fast enough for us to not go under. So we'll have to see. Shows how much of this version I played. Yeah, you don't really get to chaos mode until after you finish the campaign most of the time. I finished the campaign quite some time ago. Oh boy. So, it looks like upgrading might be another valid way to prevent the Pachycephalosaurus from destroying the park. I think we're going to reload, though. Because I seem to have discovered the bottomless pit of money, and that's not a thing that we really want. So let's maybe go in and see if we can figure out how the Sacho got out of the enclosure. Attracting guests to your parks is the key to earning cash. So you're saying that freaking them out doesn't help. Huh. Gonna lurk in game for a bit? We'll chat a bit later? No worries. Do what you gotta do. It's really good to have you here, though. It's really good to see you. Okay, so we've just got in. We're still a little in the hole, but... That was gonna turn itself around. These guys are safely enclosed for the moment. Terrify all the visitors. I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh boy. Let's not put it on accelerated speed. We have to keep a close eye on stuff. Uh, other things we can do. Let's have a look at the research center. I wonder if I maybe... Nope, no fossils, which means nothing to sell. That's another possibility, actually, is we could simply sell the Pachycephalosaurus once there's only one of them left. Then it becomes somebody else's problem. We just have to worry about how to deal with the cash influx. Might be a bit kinder than feeding it to the racks. Uh, boy. Okay, so we're back in and getting some cash again. That's a good thing. My preferred method, though, I still want to focus on getting these technologies researched so that we can get the genome for the Pachycephalosaurids and make more of them. That's my ideal solution. So we're going to pin this one. We're going to pin this one, right? Can we not? No, we can't. Okay. Weird. My new park concept for the thrill seekers. T-Rex petting zoo running track. Wow. I mean, that's definitely a possible concept. 
and potentially doable too with a variation on the Jurassic World gyro balls. Though in that circumstance, I think you could be forgiven for referring to them as hero balls. Okay. We're almost to the level of money we need to do the research for... What was it? The medium... No. Small herbivores. Level 3. Just a few thousand bucks more. You get to pet the T-Rex until suddenly you're now on a running track trying to escape. Remember, they don't corner well. That's true. Serpentine is your friend. I have never actually tried letting this park tour run through a carnivore enclosure. I really do have to wonder how that might go. They aren't here for the burgers? Speak for yourself. I want a Bronto burger. And it actually literally is true that it's your, um, <laughs> uh, what you call them, the amenities, the stores and drink shops and restaurants. They are the real key to pulling in cash. Oh, hey, we've almost got twice as much money as we need. I lost the thread there. There we go. But it looks like my research was occupied anyway already. Okay, nobody needs resting right now. So we're going to have you and... You we'll work on that. Oh, the carnivorous dinos aren't here for the burgers. Well, they're there to sell the burgers. Offer them a running target or a big burger, they'll choose the burger, probably. Much to my surprise, the Rexes quite often will eat from this. The compy feeder, rather than go and hunt the goats. Okay, that's vehicle under threat. You're still safely locked up. There's no holes in the fence that I can spot. Good. Ornithomimosaurids 3, one item's unlocked. Now, if I remember correctly, it's 500k to research the last bit. Oh crap, we need the park rating up too. Shoot. Oh, that's not good. Well. Uh, oh, it's 500k for the heavy fencing, too. 
But under the circumstances, I think that might not be the worst investment ever. with a chance to be living, seeing dinosaurs in the flesh. No animatronics, no illusions. Actual dinosaurs. See? He chased the goat all the way here, and now he's just going for this. Granted, there's a lot more meat here than there is on a goat. Okay, we're at 391. We need to get back up to 5 again. Actually, I'd like to get it higher than 5. I don't want to coast too close to bankruptcy. Even if we're gaining money, I don't want to drop us down to 0. Conserve energy. It's a thing all animals do. Yep, that is true. Park rating and profit has dropped by 2% this month. Great. That's what I want to see. <laughs> I love that it's just walloping the jeep with its tail. We're all good here. Relatively speaking, yep, they're okay. Okay, we're at over 500k. Hey, JH, how's it going? Vacation has commenced. That is awesome. I hope your vacation is a great one. I want to see, like, T-Rex versus Bronto. You can actually do that. Full, four full, oh no, JH. I am taking a couple of weeks off in July. Okay, six and a half. I think that'll do. Of course you are. Yes, I, I need to. It is very important. Uh, yes, park rating. We were... Um, maybe... Um, let's take a look. Much as I like the idea of the enclosure upgrades, let's see if there's anything else I can do. Adventure amenity modules, nature amenity modules, luxury amenity modules. Let's do that. And attractions. Uh, configuration options for guest attractions. That's probably not a bad one. Except that it's expensive. Fewer gourd streams around me, your birthday.
18th for you. Let me check my schedule. I usually take them around the middle of the month. July. I Yep, yeah, I will not be on on the 18th. But I will be back shortly after the 18th. The 11th will be my last stream before vacation. So Monday the 11th. And then I will be returning on Thursday the 21st. Research available, Pachycephalosaurids. I must have got the 3.5. That's awesome. And I have enough money. We're just going to lock that in now because it is highly important. Now let's go check on our wizards over here. Don't you even think about escaping again. Oh, nice, Bob. I promise it'll be worthwhile, though. I have some thoughts for new stuff that I'm going to work on over the break. Rested gorgeous means better streams. Yeah, well, that's why I started doing it. I streamed for many, many years without taking any time at all off. I started streaming back in 2014, and I burned myself out multiple times. And finally, in 2020, I'd had enough, and I said, okay, I need to actually schedule breaks. And things have been pretty good ever since. Additional modules, number one. Excellent. So that means we can put in new types of amenities. Not just the cinema. How is it 12.30 already? I guess I started quite late tonight, didn't I? But it is about time for a break, which means I have been standing for a pretty darn close to an hour. When did that redemption come in? Raise the desk. Oh, actually, that was... That was 11.48, so it hasn't been an hour yet. It's been about 40 minutes, though, roughly. Okay, now it looks like... Uh, where the heck am I? There we are, okay. I'm going to take a break in just a moment, but before... We oh, <laughs> jumping the gun a little bit. I just unlocked the fossil sites we can get the genomes for the Pachycephalosaurus from, and I'm already trying to synthesize them. Why don't we get some genetic material first? Oh, good. They're right in North America. Faster expeditions, faster expeditions. Off you go, sirs. Nice thing is, they're so ridiculously fast. Can you guys... Yeah, you can see the little pickaxe over here. They just took off in their helicopter. Give it a few seconds, and they will be back with their fossil load. Precisely, Bob. I could not have said it better myself. I like that phrasing. There we go.
What the heck, J.H.? Why did that alert not fire? That's weird. Things are weird tonight. They subscribed for 58 months. That's amazing. 58 month streak, too. Thank you so much for the resub. And I really don't know why that didn't go off. Let me see if I can trigger that manually. Okay, it looks like alerts might be broken. Which is a little weird, because they were working 34 minutes ago. You overflow crashed them, probably. I, I'm sure that's exactly what happened. Curse you, JH, and your incredibly supportive nature. I have an effect on IT stuff. I have a real knack for discovering bugs and causing issues and spotting the problems and being able to help figure out what was going wrong, which is both a blessing and a curse. A note just came in from Cassian receiving. Someone just sent a throne gift. What? Thank you so much. What? Holy crap, thank you. Also, that reminds me, I do have an alert for that, but apparently I, uh, I, I, I do need to provide a visual element. That was not a broken alert. I just had the audio recorded and set up for it. But I had something special. I need to... I, I'm gonna have to create video for that the way that I do for my other alerts but none of the current ones that I've got are really suitable so I need to I need to do something with that thank you Aaron Lord that is really really cool I think I have an idea of what goal that might be <laughs> let me just see Unfortunately, I don't think they have different categories of alerts, so it's always going to be the same one, even if it's funding a specific one. I might need to reload this. Oh, if it's the one I think it is, yeah. We're going to have a similar problem to the uh, challenges. It's not actually registering yet because it's not at 1% yet. <laughs> Which is kind of hilarious to me. But that's fine. Thank you so much. What's that, J.H.? Yeah, that, that was uh, actually the card, the video card. I'm going to say that was community suggested, but I'll give you three guesses which member of the community suggested it. <laughs> I think you can probably work that one out. <laughs> oh, it does show the dollar amounts. That's awesome. I was looking at the uh, the dashboard screen that I get, not the page that you guys see. You might actually get that information more than I do. It is, JH. It is. But that's like the top of the line, super high memory, 3090 Ti highest performance you can possibly get and if the price drops throne gifts actually monitors that stuff if they're able to you know if it's a site that they can monitor for price changes and it will go down as the price of the card itself goes down so since it seems rather unlikely that we're gonna hit that goal before the 40 series releases there is a very good chance that that card may drop in price by the time we start approaching the threshold where I'd actually get it. OK. 
Okay, we're still good over here. Oh, we're actually back up into the millions again on cash. That's fancy and encouraging. We want to be back over here in North America. That one's complete. We're at 50%. Let's get you guys off again. We'll get some more fossils. Meanwhile, we're going to synthesize dinosaurs. We have Pachycephalosaurus. We do not want them to be sickly, so we're going to modify their genome. Obviously make them random skin and patterns. And we need intense immune response if we want to make them less sickly, so we're going to work on that. Let's get Hakimi and Asaju to work on that. I apologize if I am completely butchering the pronunciation of their names. I almost certainly am. I'm sure chat can reach it. The cost just surprised me. Did not know. Oh, they've actually dropped in price a lot. They're back down around manufacturer suggested price, JH. The GPU... Price inflation seems to be pretty much over. That's just that good a card. That's why Aaron Lore suggested it. If I recall correctly, his reasoning at the time was, if you're going to wish, you might as well wish big. Because it is a wish list. It was the most expensive thing that I would toss under reasonable, and it's a wish list, yes. And, I mean, it's fair. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's stream-related content. And if I actually do manage to get the thing, then I've got a 1080 video card that I can throw in the streaming PC once I am able to build the extra PC. The video card would be a massive part of building that new PC. Vehicle destroyed? Holy crap. Rexy. Rude. These guys are your friends. They're not your toys. And now you went and you frickin' hurt yourself, you idiot. Okay, where's our hospital? Oh, is that not a major injury? What's wrong with him? Undiagnosed ailment. We're going to have to wait for the med bay to go visit. If we hit the 3090 Ti, you'll also basically not have to worry about a GPU upgrade until the card dies. Yeah, pretty much. Or until it's too expensive to run because of the power requirements. But we'll have to see. That would be hilarious if I got the 3890Ti and... Oh no, actually it's the 40 series that has the stupid power requirements, isn't it? We're probably okay with the 30. Minor fracture, okay. So we don't have to hospitalize them. Serves you right. Probably broke a toe destroying that jeep. I have no complaints about it being there. It's a perfect wish. Yes. Many people realize now, what do you mean by BC? What is BC? Oh, Bitcoin? It'd be nice if more people realized it, but yeah. We'll just build a nuclear plant next to your pow to power it. Excellent. No, but it's coming out, Mr. Soggy Roman. 
and it has crazy power requirements. Okay, I think I'm going to take my break now. And we're only five minutes off from... Like, it's 12.43 now, so we're very, very close to an hour. I'll take my break. I'll be off wandering around. So by the time I get back from break, I'll have been standing for one hour. So congrats on your successful prediction, Mr. Soggy Roman. Let's save this. I'm going to quit out of the game in the hopes that maybe, just maybe, the clips will actually work. Uh, I, I'm a little less than hopeful about that, given how, I didn't even have the game open. I hadn't launched it yet when I started stream, and the clip show was already dying. So I don't know what's going on with that. Aaron, Laura, and I were talking about it a little bit during chat before the stream started. And it's weird because it's literally just an HTML page with some JavaScript. There should be nothing causing it to go wrong, but for some reason it's going wrong. I don't know if maybe it's OBS or Aaron Lore suggested possibly a plugin for OBS, but I haven't changed anything. And it's only recently that this has been happening, so your guess is possibly better than mine at this point. Have you heard about Astroneer update near your birthday? Oh, are they introducing trains? That's cool. I had not heard about that. I haven't played Astroneer in a long time. That was a good game. But I'm going to take a break. I will be back in just a few minutes, folks. So if you need to get up, get yourself some food or a drink, grab a snack, use the facilities, whatever you need to do, this is a really good time to do it. I am usually away anywhere from, you know, three and a half to five minutes or so. So I will see you back here then. <laughs> Deal a total of 6,500 or more damage. What did I just walk into? That's an excellent idea. When you desperately need all troops available at your side, be sure to lock them in their rooms and force them to use an override that they may not know. God damn it. How did I? Oh. Oh my god. Oh shh. I think it's charging up. Oh. Oh my god. God, these things are so terrifying, and now I'm locked into a cage match. No, I think we're gonna go with Galaxy, unless Defiant is actually Defiant's not too bad. Let's stick with the Galaxy though. That looks good to me. Okay. I apologize for your impending death, Jeb. Oh wait, he's actually climbing. What the hell? Well, so much for that. Oh, whoa. Oh crap. Uh, okay. Hang on a second here. Rude. 
the hell? Gotcha. I probably ought to kill that guy. Where are you? Oh. <laughs> lost my trail because I am so incredibly inconspicuous. Hold on, Morland. I'll get you out. Just hey, as Lloyd. soon as I finish looting. Great gears, you're alive. Uh, would you mind applying a little leverage? Just give me half a second. Priorities first, sir. <sighs> Him I can take out fairly safely because he's already in a hidden spot. No one's likely to find him. That leaves these four that I have to take out. Before any of them can sound an alarm. Okay, I'm back. Thank you. Then again, even the next card down wants 450. The card I suggested was at the time I suggested it, literally the top of the line. Yep. Thank you, Bob. Uh, have a good night. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. Hey, Sketchy. How's it going? I'm glad to hear that. Any big plans for the weekend, anybody? I imagine a lot of Canadians are recovering from Canada Day and Americans. You're probably planning for July 4th. Well, that's right. You're in uh, you're in London, aren't you? I hope that's going well. Or are you still in London or have you moved on to Europe by now? Okay, how's our fossil collection? Looking good. Let's do those two. There. Uh, you guys need resting. Not yet. You uh, you leave in an hour and a half. That would be why you can't stay long. Well, it sounds like it's going to be exciting. So hopefully you have a oh. Hopefully you have a good time. Oh oh man. Okay, that's the beginning. That's the first Pachycephalus are. We're still good for the time being, though. That's only one down. Yep, showering, good idea. Good, good idea.
Oh boy. Oh, 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 okay. It's a copy. Whew. I thought maybe the T-Rex had gone the way of his buddy. Okay, what's our genome at? That was fossil extraction. Eighty-one. I am willing to go with eighty-one. Cheaper synthesis, and we'll go generalist. Most places in Europe would be further south than London. In London, you're further north than I am in Canada. So, I suspect you're probably going to be okay. Did I say further south? I meant further north than I am in Canada. Hydrate. Thank you, Sketchy. Just drank most of that mug all at once because I've had it sitting there for an hour and a half and I haven't touched it and it's already getting cold. <laughs> We're getting there, yeah. Now, is that another new one? I think it is, but that's not... That's a Struthiomimus, so we're okay. Let's just make sure we get rid of that one quickly. Usability issue on the throne site. Can't really change currency due to restless box. Oh, but it can be done on the type of the site. Okay, got it, JH, got it. <clears throat> Still, if they've got feedback somewhere, you might want to let them know that you had some difficulties with it. They seem to be pretty good about that sort of stuff from what I've seen. Whew. I think we might be okay for a little while. Oh, shoot. Somebody else died. Oh. Oh, look at that. A second Pachycephalosaurus died. And that means the ones in the pen are going to be lonely. But that's okay because they will only be lonely for a few seconds and then their new buddies will be arriving. CD, how are you doing? It's good to see you, sir. Welcome on in. How are things going? How are you? How's your Friday been? What do you mean? Why was it being checked? Why was what being checked? Transit. 
Oh, um... Yeah, shortening Pachycephalosaurus to Pachy It was almost certainly triggering on Pachy, which is sometimes used as a derogatory term to refer to Pakistani people. Hey, we grew back by 1% after losing 2%. So we're still down, but only by a little bit less. Oh, I like the coloration on this guy. I'm great, been really good, pretty chillaxed, almost like a day off, except I didn't, don't really have a job. Well, being relaxed and chilled is a really good thing, so that is awesome. That's probably an excellent idea, Aaron Lore. Let's do that. Asset transportation complete. Uh, okay, I'm not sure what to focus on now. This means we're not likely to be caught flat-footed by problems with the Pachycephalus R's quite the same way. Oh, oh, oh. I kind of love the way they fight. It looks really cool. Alright, so we got that going on. They're doing better. We've seen no sign of Houdini-ing from these guys. But speaking of these guys... Now we can potentially focus on getting the money we need to actually finish this batch. Have we selected eggs? Maybe... That drops the price significantly. If I just go for this guy, we'll be able to get him in a lot faster. And I think they maybe only need the three. So that'll help out a lot. Instead of waiting until we've got four and a half million, we'll just get... You know, up to one and a half million, and then that will help. And then what do we need to do? We've got ten species. We've got at least 40 dinosaurs. We need to get four stars on our park rating. So I guess once we've got the numbers of these guys up to where we need it to be, we can focus once again on our original goal of trying to get Tyrannosaur DNA. Because Methuselah, he's hanging in there far longer than he has any right to. Or she has any right to. Uh, it's hard to say. It fluctuates. But I think we hit 3.5. Looks like we've dropped slightly below 3.5 again. But it goes up and down by little bits. Basically all the time. We did hit 3.5 at one point. That's what unlocked our ability to do the Pachycephalosaurus. So, 
we're kind of wavering around there. We just need to get our appeal up a little bit more. And one thing we can potentially do now... Did I research it? Where's our attraction options? No. Okay, so we have the research available. Maybe that's... If the research isn't too expensive, I should probably look at that. Attractions. Oof, that's half a million. But, you know, it's going to be worth it. Well, let's do it. Not you guys. You guys can work on that, and then you get a rest afterwards. How's your coverage? That's an excellent question. Okay, restroom coverage. Looks pretty green all around. Let's get a better idea here. Park rating, guests. Eighty-seven percent food coverage. Only seventy-three. We can improve drink and shopping. Food coverage is looking pretty decent, though. Okay, so food is lacking over here. Drinks are lacking all around here. We really need a drink place in here. Probably in here would be good, but it has to be a small amenity if I do that. Shopping, pretty much the same region. So I'll put a small drink shop and a small store over here, and then have maybe have larger ones down around here. And Stara, how's it going? It's good to see you. Okay, so we're going to do drinks here. Here we're dominated by luxury, actually, and the nature folk are a secondary. So maybe we'll go ginger beer instead of boba. We're going to do a fish tank. And we're going to do a selfie spot. So that covers all of our bases. And we'll see how that goes. Much better than usual, CD. I loaded up... Uh, I don't know if you were here at the end of stream last time I streamed this, but the Jurassic Park San Diego experiment ended in catastrophe when the Pachycephalosaurus... Pachycephalosaurus started dying off. And... We got down to one remaining, and as, as has happened in the past, the final remaining Pachycephalosaurus got so lonely that he bashed his way out of the enclosure and terrified all the guests, and we had to open up all the shelters, which robbed our amenities of all their profits, which tanked the park and bankrupted the thing and ended the entire game. So, that's happened to us twice now. In order to head that off... I loaded a save from an hour before that event. And I beelined the Pachycephalosaurus genome. So now the Pachycephalosauruses are starting to die off right on schedule. But I have four brand new ones already in the tank with them. So when the last remaining original Pachycephalosaurus is left, he'll still have buddies and won't be lonely. Hey, Nubby, how's it going? 
It's terrible. You would think the Tyrannosaurs are the biggest threat to a park like this. A moment, please. I hear we have a new follower in the library. Eld, let's show them to a comfortable seat and welcome them in. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that very much. Welcome on in. You would think the Tyrannosaurs are the big threat, but no. The Pachycephalosaurus are the ones that bankrupted us every time. So now I don't know what the new brand new threat is going to be because this will be the first time that we've sidestepped that issue. Maybe the T-Rex will be the thing that sinks the park. He's already significantly older than estimates would normally allow for. He was supposed to live to be 66. Last time I checked, he was 83. And that was a bit ago. He's 93 now. Sorry, he was supposed to be 67. He's 93. That's like a third again longer than normal. A note just came in from Cassian receiving. But someone just sent a throne gift. What Thank the, you so much. A note so just much. came in from Cassian receiving. Someone just sent a throne gift. Um, Thank you so much. Was that two separate alerts, or did two people just do that? What the hell? Thank you, guys. I can't tell. Oh, wow. Okay. Thank you, folks. We have indeed had uh, money put towards the video card. And we've had money put towards the multi-mount system, which I really appreciate. The multi-mount system is what I need to get set up so that I can do jigsaw puzzle streams. Because, uh, you know, I can do Lego streams. I've got a time-lapse video over on YouTube, by the way, of the complete building process of putting together Boba Fett's ship in Lego. And that was really fun. That was a really good build. Uh, and I did that just here on this desk surface. But I can't do that for jigsaw puzzles because that's really hard to pick up and move around at will. So I'll be doing that over at my old desk where I used to stream from as soon as I get a um, whole mounting system set up so that I can just easily move the camera to it and, uh, you know, have everything set up over there with lights and stuff. And the multi-mount stuff is what I need for that. So thank you for putting money towards that. Uh, there's a th oh two things in the same cart. Is there really? I only see the two. There. Oh, and. Oh, the. What? Oh my god. What the? You're kidding me. The hard drive. Holy crap. I don't even see that on my own list. Where is... Was that... Did you... Did, did But... but uh, Is that... Oh my god. Did that... Was that a complete purchase? Holy... Thank you. Gotta test how the whole things work. JH. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Why can't I make up my mind of what tea I want? Lemon, ginger, strawberry, or lady grey? Honestly, all of those sound really delicious. I, I will confess, I have a particular preference myself for lemon ginger. Add some honey to it, and oh my god, it's so good. <laughs> now, I mean Boba Fett's starship, Mr. Soggy Ramen, the fire spray. What is this, this throne gift thing? It's basically the same idea as the stream gifts that we've used in the past, Jarig. Except throne gifts is still actively under development. I'm not certain that stream gifts still is. I mean, I still have stream gifts. It still works. It's still there. But uh, the throne gifts, they have a number of features that stream gifts does not have. Like the ability to put money towards a gift if you can't afford to buy it outright. And then it just accumulates as more people contribute to it. So if you want to kick in a little bit, that works. And then eventually it gets paid for completely and sent over. 
or other things can happen because that does leave open a world of possibilities like what if it's not available by the time it's completely paid for. Uh, so they have ways of dealing with that stuff as well. Yeah, I, I, I would honestly cast my vote there for the lemon ginger. That sounds really super delicious. And if I were... If I, if I were still consuming honey right now, that would be the tea that I would be drinking. Right now I'm drinking the licorice tea that I like the, or not licorice tea, but licorice spice tea. It's not quite the same thing. It does have some licorice flavoring, but it's, um, it's got a lot of other stuff in there as well. But it's really good, but I would drop it in a heartbeat and go back to lemon ginger honey if I were still using honey. Uh, it's because of the keto thing. Honey is basically pure sugar with some other additives from the bees. And so it's not really all that keto friendly. Granted, neither is this... Uh, neither is this stuff that I've been drinking either. But, you know, that's just for the holiday. I'm drinking Crown Royal tonight. Just a small amount, though, and only for the holiday. And after tonight, I am going back to the relatively strict keto. My no caffeine kick means I stick with green tea of any type you can find. Green tea can still contain caffeine, though. Although it will tend to be, I think, less than some other kinds of tea. You might want to look up the particulars of the tea that you're on. Because tea can actually, depending on what kind of tea it is, it can have a lot more caffeine than coffee, potentially. Oh, this looks like one of our fancy colored Struthiomimus. How many do we have left of these guys? They seem to be dropping off fairly quickly. Population 5. Yeah, I think it might be time to boost their numbers a bit. There we go. Uh, right, Carrasco, I promised you a break. We should probably get on that. Are sweeteners like sucralose allowed with keto? Um, I would have to look up sucralose specifically, but generally I think yes, Mr. Soggy Roman. As long as, as it's not digested the way that sugar is, then it should be okay. I mean, I would have other reasons for objecting to sucralose, but your mileage may vary there. Mangrove Forest, Death Valley, Salar de Huasco. Death Valley, okay. We'll just go with those four. Oh god, lots of people need breaks. I should take care of that. Mad, how's it going? I am having a pretty great night so far. How are you doing? Any human appetizers tonight? No, actually, we're uh, in the process of establishing a great success streak. Uh-oh. He says as thunder rumbles ominously, and it looks very much like we might be getting a sandstorm. I think Wiggles and I are going to love this new DLC finished Finland map for Hunter Call of the Wild. 
been thoroughly enjoying everything about it. Oh, that's awesome, CD. That's really cool. might not be the ideal time to check on this but we need to take a look at the performance of this new ginger beer outlet okay so we need a little more luxury and a little more general but it is looking pretty profitable No white and yellow, huh? Well, let's maybe do a play area and now I need green and yellow. Maybe a little bit better green and yellow. Like a water feature. Heading off, have a great night, Aaron Lauren. Thank you so much again. I really appreciate that. JH, thank you again, too. I can't even express how much that means to me. It is really, really super kind of you. Scandinavia and our brother Finland does have a lot of nice opportunities for hunting or just casual nature enjoyment, as I imagine Canada does. Honestly... Hunting does not appeal to me even remotely, so I've never looked into it. I expect that you're probably right, though. So far, so good. Sucralos is more or less my only option I have when shopping. Aspartame makes me sick. I can't stand aspartame. Aspartame is terrible. Alright, let's get everything back to normal. Oh, okay, okay. We are looking good. And look at that. We survived it without even... Not only did we not lose a crap ton of money, we actually made profits. That's what I like to see. And now all of our resting people are out of resting. And our Struthiomimus are ready for release. This is good. Now, did the Struthiomimus live over here, or were they the next one over? I think they might be over here. Yeah, they're over here. TRC still fighting? Yeah, they do that a lot. It's okay. They're literally built for it. Okay, so what are we at? 1.4? How much is it going to cost to get our carnivore research up there? Two million. Which 
actually is not that terrible, all things considered. Oh, but actually we're at 1.5 million right now. Which means we might be able to finally... Nope, not quite. Almost. We're so close. Can't even have aspartame. It will shunt down my shunt that's in the back of my head quickly, leading to problems and possibly death. Oh my god. If I even have a few sips of diet pop, I feel lightheaded for hours? Yikes. That does not sound fun at all. Okay, now we should have enough. What are we looking for? Flasks? There we go. Wow, almost five minutes to incubate the, the new Sochomimus. Now, one thing I'm curious about, I know at some point last time I streamed this, we had looked into copies. Okay, so we were still in the process of doing that then. We're only at 87%. But that's okay. That is okay. We've already done that. Oh, okay, so we've already modified them. That's good. Good, 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 good. And we still have a couple more on the way. Population eight. So we should be fine for them for a little while. Oh, what's going on over here? Undiagnosed ailment. The aspartame clogs the tubes of my shunt, basically leading to my brain drowning in its own fluid. When I was 12, it stopped working tw right twice in 10 days. Within five minutes, I have a headache from my brain basically being squeezed as if in a vice. Oof. Yeah, that, that doesn't sound good at all. That sounds really awful. Diagnosed. Oh, good. We have rabid dinosaurs. That's fantastic. Causes dinosaurs to act aggressively. If not medicated, can escalate and become fatal. This disease is spread through saliva. Take a photo of a dinosaur with rabies. Okay, don't go anywhere just yet. Done.
Dang, dino superimmune systems, rabies can become fatal. It's 100% fatal in humans. Unfair. <laughs> And perfect. I don't even have to go deal with the rabies infection because the MVU will see to it automatically. Thank you so much, sir. Simple fix, we'll just splice in some dino DNA in humans, and, uh, yep, that'll take care of it. No problem. I'm actually the first experiment to see if Dr. Alexa Irene Kennedy's idea for the shunt would work. Today, the surgery to do it is an everyday occurrence. Wow, CD. So that was an extra dose of bravery to allow yourself to get the procedure then. I see no possible flaws in this plan. Nope, none at all. Wow, has it been five minutes already? En route to pick up the asset. Where are the Sutros? Oh, there's one. There's the other, okay. the coloring on this guy. That looks nice. Wonder if it's the same as papaya here? Looks more black than blue. <laughs> Thank you, Jarek. I appreciate that. Oh, it's not black. It just looked... I guess it was in shadow. That's really cool. Okay, now they're content. That's really nice. There you go. You have buddies. Who's the alpha? Papaya is still the alpha. Okay. Social affects the whole territory if alpha. Minus 30% area need growth, plus 30% chance to socialize, and plus 20% dominance. Love it. That's really cool. <laughs> the landing. They're fine, JH. They're fine. It's okay. Now, we have the Pachycephalosaurus issue t dealt with. 
We have the such a Mimas dealt with. Now about Methuselah here. He's gotta be almost a hundred. Holy crap. But we can't count on him living forever. So I think it's going to be a bit before we can actually do the uh, Tyrannosaur research, I believe. Oh, Two million, actually. I guess that's not that bad. But right now, we should be able to do Carnotaurus. We had done that in our previous save, so we might as well. Patasaurus, Dilophosaurus. 98% Myasaur, wow. Copy, copy. Where the heck was Carnotaurus? True Dawn. Huh. I don't know where the fossil site is. Those guys are okay. See, we've had, in theory, the ability to get the Carnotaurus since level 3 carnivores. We're up to level 4. Why the heck can't I find it? Maybe it was one of the site complete. I wonder if that's it. I wonder if... Could it be... Carna Taurus. No, it's only 79%. Which means we can make them. But... There's got to be a way to get more of them. Needless to say, a lot... Oh, let me see. I was a baby only just born at the time. Oh, gotcha. She looked my dad in the eye and said, Please let me help. I can save this miracle of a child if you will trust me. It was try try it or I die. So she saved my life. That's amazing, CD. Needless to say, a lot had to go right for me to live to tell you about it. I'm really glad that it did happen. That's really amazing. Chasmosaurus, Apatosaurus, Dilophosaurus, Dryosaurus, Apatosaurus. Okay, so it's not there. It's not true, Don. Carnotaurus, there we go. And somebody needed a break. Actually, more than one someone. The bots seem to believe that I need a break as well. I'll just wait till this expedition is done.
79% plus 21%. This ought to do it. Then we can get ourselves a Carnotaurus population. We'll put them over here for now. And if the worst should happen and the Tyrannosaur should die, we can track them and move them over to the Tyrannosaur paddock and all will be good. But we do have to fix this up a little bit. Carnotaurus and Tyrannosaurus actually have surprisingly similar habitat needs. They both like sand. They would not get along well with Darth Vader. So they've got sand, they've got water. That should really be about it. We've got two viewing galleries. We probably need a door into the enclosure. Might be helpful. We probably need a live feeder. So let's put that over there. And we probably need a ranger post. Living with my shunt is not super hard. Don't hit your head hard and don't take in anything that can clog the tubes, like mentioned earlier. Aside from that, living with my cerebral palsy is actually way harder. Yeah, I... I would say that I can imagine, but honestly, I really can't. There we go. Not hitting your head is good advice for everyone. Extra reason for you, yes. Our heads are designed to take a bit of a beating. Unless you've got something special going on that makes it extra unadvisable. Fossil extraction complete. New complete genome, Carnotaurus. Excellent. Let's go tinker with them. Okay, already random. Health is done. Let's do a little bit more research. Cross-species adaptation. Okay, and with that, we are, what, at quarter to two? I think I'm going to go take another break now, folks. So if you need to get up yourselves and get some drinks or a snack or grab some food or use the facilities or whatever you got to do, this is a really good time to do it. My breaks are typically about three and a half to five minutes long. So 
if you need to get up and go do something, this is a really good time. And I'll meet you back here in about three and a half to five minutes or thereabouts. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ah! I can't believe I killed it. Well, I'm not cold anymore. I stand corrected. I can't quite squeeze past this cannon. Oh, interesting. <laughs> well, they've messed with the wrong skull this time. <laughs> Can I call you Bob? <laughs> you may call me Murray. I am a powerful demonic force. I am the harbinger of your doom. And the forces of darkness will applaud me as I stride through the gates of hell, carrying your head on a pike. Stride? I don't know about you. Myself, I'm not expecting this to all be over until about 18 months from now. Maybe 17 now. I don't like your attitude. I'd better teach you a lesson while I bleed slowly to death right in front of you. This is gonna go great. Thank you. I owe you my life. Those bounty hunters are going to take me away and kill me. My wife warned me not to take a loan from Tavik. Now I can't pay him back. It's not good to owe a crime lord money. Oh, hello. That is how you deal with trolls. Ah. Whew. Seven misses, more misses than anyone else. But few are bads. Okay, what do I have to do with this? Oh, I think that was just the thing that delivered the thing for the thing. That hits entirely differently in this game than it normally does. I'm used to hearing that one in Far Cry when I fly somewhere. <laughs> Let's go for it. Oh. How to have a fire? I can do some cooking. Un oh shoot. Uh, that'll buff out. It's not a problem. Ferengi pack lead, my god. Seriously, you can be pack lead? Rigelian, Sarian, Tellarite, Trill, Vulcan, and Alien. Wait, what? Alien, as opposed to... <laughs> gotcha. Sucker.
said, I'm gonna phrase it as a call to action. No, we're not going there. Oh, I guess we're going there. And the underground moves right in. Careful, Uthgird. I know you have a predilection for setting off traps. Careful. Nope. Well, at least you didn't actually get hit by the arrows. I kept expecting some sort of, um, you know, gunship or something, which may still be coming, actually. Okay, I am back. Been thinking about getting myself a bot or some such that will read text out loud for me at times. While I don't really struggle with reading anymore, there is an extra mental strain just to make the effort. Some childhood struggles just leave their mark on you. You know, Jarek, you are not alone in that. It's hard for me to imagine that because I have pretty much the opposite thing going on where reading is as easy and natural to me as breathing. But there are a lot of people who they have... <clears throat> you know, dyslexia or other things that make reading more challenging for them or they don't enjoy it or, you know, maybe their vision's impaired, you know, a wide variety of reasons. And there are a variety of text-to-speech options out there and they're getting better and better and better and better and ridiculously good in some cases. So if that's a thing that you think you need or want, that kind of thing is out there. You can definitely find something. But I'm back. Thank you, JH. Think I'm subconsciously in power save mode for later today for your Magic the Gathering draft. Hey, that's cool. Okay, let me see here. You know, that's actually... Looking at that main screen there for just a moment before we continued. We went through the campaign first. But there's a new part of the campaign. Because I did pick up the Biosyn expansion that's based on Jurassic World Dominion. Instead of heading directly into the Jurassic Park 3 Chaos Mode, once we get done with San Diego, I think we might play through the new campaign segment. Because I think that would be ridiculous fun. And doing that might open up some of the new dinos and genetic modifications and things that you can do based on that stuff, the new content. Rogue Red, you saw 50%. Actually, let's quit back to the main menu. Reload this, but... Let's see where that was. We can get some other stuff. Uh, Chaos Theory autosave. Campaign 50%. Oh, that's because we finished the DFW campaign, and now we've got the Dominion campaign. That's the other half. I don't know if that means the amount of content is equal to the amount of content in the entire DFW campaign or not. Let's see. Dominion Campaign Biosyn. Experience the story of Biosyn genetics from wannabe to world leader. Lewis Dodgson looks to go further than ever before, seeking the most accurate dinosaurs ever brought back to life. 
spoiler warning, refers to events from Jurassic World. Oh, hmm, hmm. Maybe we don't necessarily want to do that then. I don't know about you folks. I know some of you have probably seen uh, Dominion, but I have not. And I really want to. Maybe we ought to hold off on the Biosyn campaign. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, we might have to hold off. There's tons of content in the rest of the game that's going to be keeping us busy until uh, Dominion is available to stream. Do we know exactly when Dominion will be available to stream? Like, not necessarily when it's going to be on Netflix or one of the other streaming services like Amazon or whatnot, but, you know, even when you can just buy it in a digital storefront like Google Play, because I would probably do that. The uh, Jurassic World and Jurassic Park movies, they're an easy sell for me. Yeah, Jurassic World Dominion is the newest movie, JH. It just came out in theaters not long ago. Yes, Dominion's the new one. And it looks really freaking good. It's the one that's got, you know, it's it's got Bryce Dallas Howard and Chris Pratt and all the cast, well, yeah, all the main cast anyway, of the original Jurassic Park. So you've got your Sam Neill is back and Laura Dern is back and Jeff Goldblum is back and they're all adventuring together doing something or other that I don't know because I haven't seen the movie yet. But it looks phenomenal. I can't wait to watch it. <clears throat> Research complete. Cross species adaptation. One items unlocked. Ah, uh, yeah, I forgot we were doing that. That's cool. Okay, so now we can do... Actually, I should probably focus more on doing that stuff and getting all that unlocked. Although I've already done a lot of it in others. Like, uh, off-stream games of the other stuff. I've already gotten all of this. But I would like to get some of these patterns. Right now we've got all the colors, but we don't... Or a lot of the colors anyway. We don't really have any of the pattern stuff. So what do we need for that? We Oh, we can actually already do that. That's handy. But for that, we need efficient metabolism. For that, we need drought tolerance. And for that, we need confined space adaptation. Which, honestly, confined space adaptation in this park in particular, that sounds like a real good idea. I think we need to do that one. I wonder if the dinosaur real world chasing from the campaign comes into effect in the more modern chaos theories. Oh, you mean uh, capturing dinosaurs in the wild instead of doing the genetics to create them in a lab? I don't think it could, at least... Well, they've added a new chaos theory, I believe, from Dominion, if I'm not mistaken. That could possibly be in effect for that one. But the whole idea of the campaign in this game, the, the original campaign at least, is that it takes place after Fallen Kingdom, which is the movie right before Dominion. And that's when the dinosaurs escaped from the islands and from the labs and all that kind of stuff. And now they're just out in the world coexisting with everything that's evolved over the last 65 million years. And so I don't think even the Jurassic World and the Jurassic World uh, Fallen Kingdom chaos theories could incorporate that. Because that event of everything just having escaped and gotten loose, that would not have happened yet. Uh, what did we just get? We Oh, uh, my research finished. That's what happened. Let's 
We'll do that one next. Nope, not you. You. <coughs> According to the trailers, they're on a quest to return the Ring of Power to Mordor in order to yeet it into the fires of Mount Doom. Got it. Okay. I had been under the impression that they were at Hogwarts trying to sneak into the library and ran afoul of uh, Thesaurus, who was angry at them for being in the library after hours, and they were about to get eaten. But that shows how much I know. You know, and they were trying to talk their way out of trouble, but they kept picking the wrong words, and Thesaurus got more and more angry, and it was just this whole thing. Oh, that's another thing we can work on. Research complete. Excellent. Let's have a look at our expedition map. We need to go... Do we want Madagascar? Yes, we do. So we have two folk with faster expeditions. Send them out. And while they're off doing their thing, I'm going to get some more research started. Jesus, man, how old are you? Ninety frickin' nine. Expected lifespan, 67. Age, 99. Well done, sir. Now, that's not going to get us close to 100, so let's go back for more of my Jungasaurus. There we go. Research complete. Efficient metabolism. It's just random. I mean, the, the 67, that's only the expected lifespan. There's no guarantee it's actually going to kick the bucket at that age. The other T-Rex that we had from the beginning was also very close to that. Like, it, it was very close to its expected lifespan, and then it kicked off at pretty much the expected time. Oh, got a... Wait till the one is done. Okay. That's fine. <clears throat> Battlescape 5? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Your favorite line from that movie is Use the Force, Harry, by Picard. Yes. That was a very moving moment.
Okay, just about done. And done. New viable genome. The reason I'm interested in this particular dinosaur among all others is Majungasaurus gets along extremely well with Carnotaurus. They live together almost as though they're the same species. Lithobates pattern. Okay, we need temperate node among skins, so we need to do this one. going to work on all the skin colors and then we're going to get all the skin textures. Well, it's you know 67 99 however many time units. I don't think anybody's made any claims that they represent actual years. It just says 67. That might be 67 weeks or 67 months. We don't know. I don't think I've ever seen this idle animation for a T-Rex before. This is really cool. Pattern genes too. Strictly speaking, they don't actually need to rest just yet. I usually like to head it off early, though. They are both a mouthful to say yes, that is true. Heck, for all we know, the 67, 99, all that kind of stuff, that might actually refer to minutes. I mean, minutes is the unit most commonly used for time throughout this game. But... <laughs> Games like this do tend to have a really weird relationship to actual time. I mean, they cite, you know, X number of what, uh, you know, dollars per minute. Then they give a lifespan in an undetermined amount of time. And then they have a day-night cycle that clearly has no relationship to any of that. So, what time actually means in these parks? Your guess, probably better than mine at this point. I just want to try and make sure that the next batch of dinosaurs we make of whatever species it happens to be looks really cool. Right now, we've never in this park had the ability to change the the skin patterns of the dinos we make. If you really think about it in terms of this game, an hour and a half is a while, so even if it were minutes, that's an impressive life. That's I mean, honestly, you're not wrong. This is a park where Tyrannosaurus do, can and occasionally do escape from their enclosures and wander around. So lifespans measured in minutes. Understandable. Pretty reasonable, one might say.
Hmm. Okay. We're gonna have to use these guys. Ah, oh, Madagascar is complete. Okay. <clears throat> Only thing is, we've done... Actually, I guess we haven't... This is stream number two. We can't really say we've done multiple streams of this particular park. I mean, technically we have, but... My point is that T-Rex has definitely been around a lot longer than 100 minutes. That'd be less than two hours. And he's got to be closer to... Five, six, seven hours by now. Taiga skins. Look at that. Even gets his own dramatic music cue. I have no idea what prompted that, but I love it. <laughs> Okay, now let's finally clear our. Oh, you guys really need a rest, don't you? Let's clear our pinned research. The best way to clear it is by completing it. Okay, so that's Gallimimus DNA. That'll take... Oh, wow, we have no Gallimimus DNA so far, so that'll alone take us to 53%. This one's Majungasaurus. We're already at 68%. Perfect. Uh, oh, my staff are busy. Okay, never mind. We'll have to wait a little bit on that. Pattern genes too. Excellent. What do we got here? Almost done. So new dinosaurs we make are already going to be extra fabulous just because we're going to have so many extra colors they can be. Now we'll have a bunch of extra patterns as well. Grown by 1%. Excellent.
Oh, well, I actually... We only really did the one shop here, didn't we? How are we doing? Okay, so we're looking good there. How's our profitability? Nice, nice. That was the drinks. We needed shopping as well, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, shopping is pretty garbage right now. So I think we'll do shopping. Come on. Got to keep that cash flowing in, after all. Someone's got to pay for all this research we want to do. <clears throat> so, it looks like we're dominated by luxury, with a second on nature and a third on general, with action, or adventure seekers, trailing dead last. No pun intended. Well, maybe a little intended. So luxury, I guess we'll go leisure wear. And we'll add dense racks for generals. Water feature for the big two. And something else. We don't necessarily need anything for the, you know, like digital ordering. We probably don't need maybe extra shelves. Dense racks and extra shelves for our leisure wear. That'll be good. And then we'll have to check on that and see how the profits look after it's built. <coughs> What is with this entrance? That is so garbage, please. Small Jurassic World. No. 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 There we go. Large Jurassic Park. That's more like it. Thank you. Profit, 16,000. Excellent. Alright, that's looking much better. That's so much better. Okay, now... <clears throat> How's food? Food, not so great down here. But overall, that's got to be a sign. Oh, look at that! Just that alone, we're almost up to freaking four stars. Maybe I, I was just going to dismiss the food concern, but maybe I should probably do something about that now that we're looking at that. Uh, let's have a quick look here. Amenity coverage. 89% <clears throat> food, 87 drink, 92 shopping. Not bad, not bad. So it looks like drink is still our least covered. Oh, even with that one here, it's not fully covering down here. That's interesting. Unfortunately, this area is a little bit awkward to provide coverage for. I'll relocate this. It's a little bit of a risky move. But I think if I put it there, that should still bridge the gap between the other two. This one here and this one here. And that gives me a lot more space in here to play with. 
so I can put another, maybe even a medium drink amenity in. Probably not, though. That's too tight, I think. No. Oh, even small might not want to go in. <clears throat> oh, that's frustrating. There's plenty of room. There's no reason you shouldn't go here. Fine, we'll have to use freaking decorations. Just a random fountain for no particular reason. It'll be fine. Never mind the fact that all these plants in here are deadly poisons that haven't existed for millions of years and they can... Oh shit, what happened? Oh, uh, okay. More of the Pachycephalosaurs. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, oh no, it finally happened. Methuselah died of old age. 102. F's in the chat for Methuselah. The T-Rex who lived way longer than he had any right to expect. I heard profits start to plummet at this point. It's really hard to say. Oh, okay, we already got that one. Thank you, Jarek. Thank you, JH. Now, where is the third dead dino? I don't see another. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's one of the Triceratops. Request. Do I have the ter Triceratops genome, actually? I do, 100% too. We can probably modify this one more now. Oh, we can't do the random color. Some of the, that bothers me. Some of them, they designate special movie dinosaurs and you can't really change the skin color or the patterns or anything. Ugh. I assume that'll probably change when we get to like the Jurassic World and stuff. Tooth and claw hardness. Wow, okay. That's a pricey one. Yikes. Transporting asset. Well, now we really need those freaking Carnotars. Oh, is that what you were referring to? The T-Rex dies and profits really plummet? Yeah, that I believe. No problem whatsoever. I have no trouble with that idea. That's why I've been working to try and get the... The Tyrannosaurs, so that I can make more, but we'll use the Carnotaurs in lieu of Tyrannosaurs. Because the reasons the, uh, the profits plummet at this point is because the Tyrannosaurs have really, really high appeal. 
So we need something to replace that same or more amount of appeal. And Carnotaurus, they're not as impressive as T-Rexes. There's just no getting around that. But if you put a whole bunch of them in, you can make up for it. Oh, and yeah, and that decreased my total dinosaur species, unfortunately. Let's select our eggs. We have four of them. This guy's aggressive, plus 35 dominance, plus 30% threat, dislikes and threatens other species. So we've got Limpopo River with blank pattern. We've got Salar del Huasco with Poltrana pattern. Not sure what that means. Oh, and he's long-lived. That's really cool. We've got Docile and Nocturnal, and he's Death Valley with Chalcarana. Pardon my pronunciation, I'm Canadian, we don't really do Spanish, or at least I certainly don't. And we've got Champlain Valley, Rana, with aggressive, long-lived, and fit. Okay. Well, that all sounds amazing, except it's also expensive, we can't really do it. Uh, let me just take a quick peek at these guys. No. Hmm. Ah, okay. Minimum population two. Maybe we don't need all four then. So we could get rid of him with the aggressive trait and this one who's nocturnal and just have these two and that's still too expensive but we can get that pretty quickly and then we can do more. Because I want to get something in here because right now it's empty and the suchos aren't really going to do it. So we're going to move the carnos directly in over here instead of using this one for now. That also means I need to get a move on with the Majungasaurus. Sixty-eight percent. I don't want to do that. I would greatly prefer eighty percent or better, preferably one hundred. There has to be a place to get more of that genome, right? I wish it would list what had been in the formation. Instead of just telling you, oh, this site's complete, there's nothing there for you. Hmm. Well, I won't worry about it for now. I don't have the money anyway, so let's just let the profits roll in. Ah, Research complete. Tooth and claw hardness. Excellent. Profits may have dropped after the T-Rexes, but... We are still making profits. Now, I don't really have anything I can put in here, do I? I think all my remaining species are... They're all herbivores. 
except for the such a mimus. These are the only real toothy dinosaurs we have left. But I've done the Carnotaurus and the Majungasaurus combo before, and it's extremely effective. I'm sure once we can get them in, we will be golden. Oh, I bet you I know the problem. <clears throat> yeah, okay, the problem is I've already got all the fossils I need. I just need to actually, you know, extract from them. So I can't find the site to dig fossils for them because there are no fossils for them left. I have them all. Oh, you know what? I just realized I just told a really terrible lie. We have more carnivores, and they're still in this pen. They're just really, really tiny. As you entered the venue, you joined us on a journey through prehistory. A journey that mankind has never been able to... <clears throat> oh no, our triceratops are all dying off. How many do we have left, and what is their minimum population? Oh, crap. Damn it. They are now at their minimum population. Uh, okay, these guys, these are ready to go, but I don't have quite enough cash. So we'll synthesize some Triceratops. Ah, new viable genome, Gallimimus. Excellent. Oh, that was research. Ah, that's what we want. <clears throat> ah, excellent. Triceratops batch complete. Okay, so we've got Cosmetic Triceratops 1993 with no traits. No traits. Social and Nocturnal. Attention, Library of Lore. We extend our warmest greetings to our latest follower. Eld will show you to a comfortable seat. 
Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate that. Welcome to the Library of Lore. I appreciate you taking the time and joining us this evening. Okay, I'm going to do two just so that we... You know, we can do more Triceratops later, but that'll add a comfortable buffer. Without completely bankrupting the park. Lady Lunar, how's it going? As my welcome to the library, let's have Gord tell a joke. Oh my god. Okay, folks. We've had a redemption for a terrible pun or dad joke, and there is a reason they are called terrible puns and dad jokes. Don't expect a good joke. It's often questionable whether you should even expect a joke. Okay. What do you call a parade of rabbits hopping backwards? A receding hairline. There you go. You were warned. <laughs> you like that one. Actually, that one was no, wasn't too bad, all things considered. We've had much worse. See, funny. Every once in a while, a good one sneaks through. New complete genome, Paris are all Say that five times fast. New complete genome, Majungasaurus. Excellent. And I can't really work with them because we don't have enough bays. Do I have... Ooh. Problem solved. Oh. Not that problem. Oh, uh, it's Pachycephalosaurus 1. But at least he died with company, so he didn't go on a rampage and escape from his thing and bankrupt the entire park this time, so thank you for living in peace this time. I really appreciate that. Now, how are you guys doing? What's your population at? Population 4 minimum looks like it's about 3. It might not be the worst idea in the world to make more of those guys. Even though our current crop is probably not going to kick for a while. Not sure I could even properly say it once. I can't promise that I am saying it properly. Now that you mentioned that. And I'd probably better start limiting the number of these guys that I synthesize because it takes a while to be able to afford to make them. And I still have to build another attraction and we really do need those Carnotars. We need to replace our lost Tyrannosaurs. Asset in transit. Pachycephalosaurus batch. Okay, let's select our eggs. We only got three. Wow. Killian Mountains, blank pattern. Gambia River Basin with lithobates. Pattern. And Death Valley with the Rana pattern. Okay. 
Okay, that's going to be almost half a million right there. But our Triceratops are almost ready to release. There we go. I hope they do another of these games and introduce the concept of actually breeding the dinosaurs instead of just manufacturing them in the labs and capturing them in the wild. I think that would be really fun. Okay, there's one new Triceratops. How are we looking? Okay, population's comfortably at three, and that will soon be four. What's it going to cost to throw up an attraction? Let's have a look at that. Oh, actually, I never did the research to expand on those, did I? Nope, I did. Never mind. More guest attraction modules. Two million? Oh, my God. Okay. Yikes. What are people around here interested in? Looks like mostly nature and luxury with a little bit of general and thrill-seeking. So... Fossil zone it is. I'm still trying to figure out how many full-grown humans it takes to properly feed a Rex a full meal. <laughs> they seem to be pretty content with a goat, so I suspect only one would do.
Now, the question then becomes, how often do they need a full human? Maybe slightly less often than they need a full goat. You never know. There we are. Yep, I like that one. And that actually seems to have helped our profits quite a bit. It's, it's going up a bit faster than it was. Let's take a look at our history here. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Income has ticked upwards. That's pretty nice. It did suffer a bit of a drop there for a little bit, but it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. I think it might be because we've been without both T-Rexes for some time now. Like, we only had the one for a very long time. I don't think that the impact of losing the other T-Rex was nearly as bad. Finally, I have all the outposts on the new Finland map unlocked so Wiggles and I will easily be able to travel around the map. Ah, that is such a fun feeling, isn't it? Park income only dropped by 1%. Not bad. I mean, it still dropped. That's not great. But, all things considered... It could be a lot worse. How's our Pachycephalosaurus is doing? I think we're gonna make these guys now. These will represent our very first dinosaurs with the new patterning and colors. Well, definitely the patterning, possibly the colors. <coughs> Excuse me. And let's go. Now these guys lived... Ah, yes, they're over here. On route to pick up the asset. Picking up asset. Well, it's not a wild color. I think we'll get a better look at him once he's on the ground.
asset has been collected. Okay, here we go in just a moment. He looks pretty nice. It's a little bit different than the coloration of the others. I can't really tell with the pattern very much. He might be another blank pattern one. Oh, oop. He looks a bit different. She, rather. She looks a bit different. Oh yeah, that's a nice looking one. I like that one. Some very mottled coloration going on there. Uh oh. And here's our last one. Oh, there's a... Oh, yeah, that one's got a clear pattern. I like that one. Uh, another Triceratops. Asset to be collected. Let's not have our expeditionary forces sitting around twiddling their thumbs. We might want a raptor pack at some point. Because what could possibly go wrong? Oh, wow, that ate a lot of our money. Yikes. Transit has commenced. Now, how much is it I need for the Carnotars? Because we really need the Carnotars. I'm going to have to do everything I can not to get distracted. 1,600,000. That's not that bad. We can do that. That We can do that. We only need to earn 10 times the amount of money we've got now. So no working on fossils. Actually, working on fossils is cheap, but no working on fossils yet. Oh, wow, is it 2.53? Okay. All right. All right, folks. It's not time to end the stream, but it is most certainly time to take a break. So if you guys will bear with me, I'm going to go do that. I'm going to quit out of the game. Because we do want to actually have some hope of the clip show working. Actually, that's an excellent question. Has the clip show been working okay when I've been going on breaks? Because it was stopping unexpectedly like crazy when I was doing the stream open, and that was not fun. Uh, but I haven't really noticed the problem as badly during the breaks. So for those of you that have been here for one or more breaks, did the clip show mysteriously give up the ghost and stop on us, or was it okay for the duration? Let me know, and I will be back in just a few minutes. My breaks are typically about three and a half to five minutes long, so I will be back after that. If you need to get up yourselves and get some food or a drink, grab a snack, use the facilities, any of that good stuff, please feel free. This is an excellent opportunity, and then I'll meet you back here once I'm back. 
No breakups as far as you noticed. Excellent. Thank you for letting me know. I'll be back in a bit. Wait, who just did... I got him? Wow. That's amazing. Maybe archery doesn't completely suck after all. I don't like your attitude. I'd better teach you a lesson while I bleed slowly to death right in front of you. This is gonna go great. Hunters are going to take me away and kill me. My life warned me not to take a loan from Tavik. Now I can't pay him back. It's not good to owe a crime lord money. We ready? Happy New Year. Who's? There we go. And I even have champagne to toast. Goodbye, 2021. Watch out for that. Two for one. That was a good chunk of damage. That's different. Ooh. Holy crap, what was that? Oh my god, what have I done? Oh god, the donkey. Oh, jeez. Oh, this is a disaster. <laughs> <You're t> <laughs> Oh, 
Is the body of the dog alerting her, even though I don't have the opportunity to move it? That certainly seems to be her goal. Oh my god. Holy crap. Guys, the 30th anniversary edition. Oh my god. I used to play this game, the this edition of the game. I still have my book back there. Look at this. Can you This is unbelievable. Oh, hi. Okay, I'm back. Unfortunately, that's not your internet. That is the same thing that I had happening when I started the stream today. I don't know what's going on with it, and it's very annoying. But... <laughs> okay. It wouldn't be a proper stream without some kind of technical issue. Let's just get the game going again. Thank you, Patriotic. Thank you, Mad. Thank you, JH. least we get the universal logo multiple times hey honestly i kind of like it it makes the game experience feel much more epic and film like okay Yeah, it kind of bothers me, the whole clip thing, because some nights it happens and some nights it's just perfect. And most of the time it seems perfect, which means I have no idea what's going on on those nights when it's just not working properly. I really don't get it. All right, here we go. So we are waiting on money again. I'm just going to let this run on fast forward. We'll see what happens. I was hanging out with Don Polyon earlier and his internet cut out on him three times. It's just one of those nights. Oh, uh, yeah, that happened, CD. I've had nights like that, too, where my internet just was not working out. <clears throat> okay, we're up to 300,000. 3.5. 3.7. Final Fantasy XIV got DDoSed. Wow. But since the lag doesn't happen during a normal stream, it's like the clip play by gra graphic bottlenecks on CPU, GPU. It's not the CPU or the GPU. Otherwise, we'd be having the same issue. It's got to be something in the software that's running them. Which means, most likely, OBS. Now they're saying there's a solar flare facing the Earth that could be impacting our computers and tech stuff in the coming weeks. Oh, joy. That's going to be fun. Yeah. 
Yeah, the way I have the clip show set up and configured, Lady Lunar, it's just, uh, it's actually a browser source. It's just a page of HTML that plays a collection of clips sitting on my local hard drive. And it runs through them, picks a bunch randomly, and goes through them and tries not to do duplicates. So it's literally just JavaScript in an HTML page running through OBS as a browser source. That's all it is. So apparently OBS's recent updates are having hissy fits with previous settings. Would that apply to browser sources, though? Because I've not had... I was going to say I've not had issues with other browser sources, but we did have issues with alerts earlier, didn't we? I will look into that. Thank you. Almost a million. Very nice. What do we need? 1.5? A little less than 1.5. Possibly a little more. Let's have a look. Was it 1.5 or 1.6? Other way. Back this way. Oh, what's going on here? Why are you actually using power? Oh, I built some new stuff. I probably need another power station, actually. But no, not yet. Oh, gee. Oh, my God. That. Ugh. <laughs> that costs so much. Oh, my God. Okay, hang on. We have to research, even though it's going to cost us. I need to research power. Large power... Uh, oh, small power station increased output. Yeah, that will help. When I would try to stream, my stream suddenly turned into PowerPoint presentations, as I was told. Oof. Yeah, I'm going to have to go through the uh, notes on OBS updates then, Lady Lunar. Clip playback is probably doing different kinds of graphics due to encoder. No, it's they're all the same. Uh, they're all the same, JH. The clips, I export them all myself, and I use the same settings for every one of them. And maybe even HTML5 support in the browser. There's lots of difference. And yeah, it's been web source and OBS can totally be one of those differences. Aren't alerts browser source too? Yes, they are. Or some native thing in OBS? No, they are browser source. Can you get that Colosseum on sandbox mode? I don't know. I have not really played sandbox mode yet. But I believe you can. It's an amphitheater. In theory, you should be able to be uh, to build one, I think. I don't seem to be able to. Let me just... Uh, I'm actually curious now myself. Hmm. Searching for Jurassic World Evolution 2 Amphitheater brings up a lot of results on the San Diego Chaos Theory. Not a whole lot on building your own, though. Mm, okay. I found a result that mentions using the amphitheater otherwise, but otherwhere, but unfortunately, the reference is on the Nexus Mods page. So I don't think you can use it in sandbox mode in vanilla. But if you mod the game, that seems to be something that you can do. 
Though it is worth noting that if you do that, it's probably likely to still say Jurassic Park San Diego, regardless of where you're building it. A Reddit forum states it is not available outside the Chaos Theory mode. Yeah. Unless you mod it. Oh my god, what do I... What? Oh, okay, well, that's, that's a lot cheaper. Okay. <clears throat> ah, hang on. Looks like we just finished our research. Increased output. Increased output. And I won't do this one just yet, because that has no unused... No, 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 wait. That means I do need this yet. Never mind. I can't... <laughs> there goes all my money again. Great. But at least this isn't using any fuel anymore again. The park rating and profit dropped by 4% this month. Wonderful. Three dead... What? Parasaurolophus. Great. Now I'm probably going to have to make more of them, too. I want my Carnotaurus, damn it. God, how many of the Paralophosaurs are left? Oh, shoot. They are lonely. Okay, that means I have to make more. <laughs> At least we have cheaper synthesis. Your rescue truck to rescue a flip truck just flipped. <laughs> I'm sorry, JH, that sucks. Not the Carnotaurs. Social, thirsty, nocturnal, thirsty. I guess we have no choice but to wait. Asset has been collected. So yeah, I guess uh, in conclusion, the answer to your question is no, unless you're willing to mod the game. I personally will be holding off on that for a while just because I'm having a lot of fun unlocking everything and oh no! Ah, my Menchisaurus! Oh god. Why is it taking so long to get the park up to four freaking stars? We're sitting at three and a half. Oh, and great. Now we have a sandstorm. That's just awesome. <sighs> it didn't stall the engine so you could unflip it oh that's good that's good Attention, incoming raid. Please report to hospitality stations in a calm and orderly fashion. El Talera, Joduri, and other librarians will aid as need be. Please be ready to disperse library cards. What the heck? 
God coming in with a raid, and what a raid message. Defiling a biscuit raid. Do I want to ask? Should I just let that slide? What's going on, Scott? Uh, welcome on in, everybody. If you've never been here before, my name is Gordon McLeod. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. I play a lot of single driven or single single player story driven games with excellent narrative and character development, as well as strategy games and sandboxy games, retro RPGs and classic adventure games. So if any of that sounds good, please feel free to hit the follow button. Uh, folks, if you are not familiar with Scott, he's been a friend of mine on this channel for a very long time. Make sure you go give him a follow. You will not regret it. How are you doing tonight, Scott? It's so good to see you. I actually have no idea what the context of that is, to be honest. Uh, your guess is as good as mine. Well, I'm not going to think about it too heavily then. Maybe chat will enlighten us, or maybe we just don't want them to. I'm not entirely sure yet, but either way, welcome. It's really good to have you all here. We are playing some Jurassic World Evolution 2 tonight, struggling mightily with the uh, Jurassic Park San Diego Chaos Theory mode scenario. And man, this thing is just brutally kicking my butt. I might have to take a third stab at it. I'm not sure how it's all going. So, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. We keep losing dinosaurs left, right, and center, and I've gotten to the point where I can replace them with newer and better dinosaurs and all that, but it's... There's always something. I have... I've finally lost my two tyrannosaurs, and, you know, that's expected. They only live so long. But one of them lived way longer than it was predicted to be able to live, and just... Ugh. It's just... It's a struggle. Anyway. Anyway. If you've never been here before, I do have a little bit of a video to welcome you in properly. Hopefully it won't scare too many of you away. Welcome on in, folks. Let's get the stream started, shall we? Whoa! Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh, uh, runaway helicopter. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, shoot. 69 form factor. Aspect ratio. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, crap. Whoa. Yes, whoa. <laughs> okay, that Hey, I have not, I have not looted that, sir. go so that's a little bit of a preview of what you can expect around these parts thank you again for the raid scott let me see it's funny because we watched independence day earlier tonight which chef goldblum is also in oh man it's been a long time since i watched that but that is a great movie i haven't seen that in forever oh no now the chasmosaurs are starting to go too see this is what I was ranting about earlier. It's just one thing after another. If this guy is gone, chances are some of the others are also going to go very soon. I 
maybe be better off not leaving this on th speed three for the time being. Uh, okay. Chasmus. I need to get some carnivores because I lost the last of my T-Rexes. And now our park attractiveness has gone down the tubes. I mean, it's honestly, it's not that bad, but even so. Random skinning. Okay, good. Tolerant, intolerant, social, antisocial. Oof. Oh, the Parasaurolophilus is... Right, I was trying to get the money together to make them. We'll have to synthesize those guys and then do the Parasaurolophilus in just a moment. That didn't lag. That one never does, but that one is not a browser source, Lady Lunar. That one I do differently. I, oh, actually, you know what? Commencing asset transit. That used to be true. It used to not be a browser source, but now, ever since I did the new version of the clip... No, actually... I take it back. I had implemented it as a browser source, and now that you mention it, I did have some issues with it. It would play perfectly once, and then I tried to play it again when another raid came in, and it didn't work, so I switched it back to the non-browser source, and I've been using it that way ever since. So that's just direct media playback through OBS. So it might specifically be OBS with browser source. So I'm going to have to look it up and see if there are known issues with that and see what, if anything, you can do to fix it. Or, you know... You, in, meaning the general you, not the specific you. Time for me to take my leave and get some rest. Please do have a great night, Gord. Thank you so much, CD. It's so wonderful to have you here. I hope you have a fantastic night as well. Get some good rest and have a good day tomorrow. You have a good, you gave a good suggestion. You did, Lady Lunar. You did, you did. Okay, what's non-fatal but requires medication? He should be medicated shortly, I would think. Can we... Nope, we need 465. We have 461. Four seventy four. Not Carnotaurus. Much as it pains me. Ugh. Okay. Oh my god, another one. Who is it this time? Oh Jesus, it's these guys. Oh, I don't think I had that many of them to begin with. How many? They're still content. Oh, okay. Actually, that's that's less of a problem than I thought. Apparently, one of them will be content all on his own. That's really good news, because it means he's a lot less likely to try and break out. That was the problem I had with the Parasaurolophilus earlier. Or not the para... Um, the... the Pachycephalosauruses. The park was basically in a death spiral because the Pachycephalosauruses would try, would start dying off. And I'll show you those guys. They're the ones with the bony forehead protrusions. Where are you? I should have a bunch of you guys. Ah, yes, this one here. these guys there were four of them and they would start dying off and as soon as they started dying off I knew the park was in trouble 
because it would get to the point where you were down to just one. And he would get so lonely and upset that he would beat his head against the gates or, you know, against the fencing. Bash his way out of the enclosure, terrify the guests, force me to open all the emergency shelters. And the park would start immediately hemorrhaging money. And, you know, you can tell by the way I'm running this park, this one's a little bit lean and mean. By that point in the game, it was to the point where the park would just run out of money and I would go bankrupt every single time. That happened to me several times. So I had to basically load up a game from about an hour before that happened the most recent time and then rush so that I could get the Pachycephalosaurus genome and make more of them before there was only one left, which I finally succeeded in doing earlier tonight. Okay, where are these guys? This is not the correct enclosure. Yeah, these guys go over here. Okay, let's have a look at our fossils. Oh, we have a lot of Velociraptor stuff. It's only 50k, might as well. Raptors might be a good introduction to this, although the only problem with raptors, I guess, is they're small enough that they might actually hunt the, co the copies. Of course, that could be entertaining for the viewers, too. This spectacular amphitheater removes the reinforced barriers that separate man from dinosaur. Ladies and gentlemen, cast your eyes. Asset transportation in progress. I find it funny that right now we've got the whole amphitheater devoted just purely to the viewing of copies, the smallest dinosaurs in the park. Okay, it looks like the new new ones are here. Oh, right, though. These are the another type that we can't actually modify the skin and all. So they basically look exactly the same as the old ones. Oh, my God. Ugh! That's the last of our Mamenchisaurus. <laughs> Do we have a Patasaurus yet? I I know we've got dig sites for a Patasaurus. I can't afford to do it. I have to get the Carnotaurs. I have to. We need to get our appeal up. Asset has been transported. Transit has commenced.
Whoa, you're really booking it there. What the heck? Oh, <laughs> I forgot for a moment. I have accelerated speed on. Wow. It's starting to get kind of late. It's 3.30 in the morning for me. How's Fossil Zone doing? Not huge numbers of visitors, but it's got some visitors. Actually, it's not doing bad. Seven for each of its type. Hmm. Okay, they're not doing too shabby. Oh my god. Another one of these guys. Okay, these guys are ready for incubation. Salar del Helwasco with Rana. Great Sandy Desert with Rana. Amazon Rainforest with Chalcarana. Death Valley with the Bates. Yeah, let's do these two. Dropped by 11%? Oh my god. Oh no. See, this is why I really need the new carnivores. We have to breathe new life, and by new life I mean new teeth into the park. But it's so expensive, and I just can't catch a break on the timing. It's not one thing, it's another. Oh, look at that coloration. Hang on. Here we go. Transporting asset. Confirming asset delivery. Oh, I like the striping. That looks so good. Looks really nice. That's a really striking dinosaur. Very cool. This is what the ones before pretty much looked like. Oh, 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 and oh, there we are. Very cool. So what's our population sitting at now? Three.
At least this is just a copy. No disrespect to the copies, but those guys are kind of disposable. In fact, seeing as they're rather cheap... Let's just make a bunch more. <clears throat> nope, that's the Carnotaurs again. Okay, so we've got Great Sandy Desert Lithobates. We've got Champlain Valley, Chalcorana. Sontaran Desert, Poltrana. Limpo Limpopo River, Poltrana. Death Valley, Rana. Gambia River Basin, Chalco, Rana. So they have different colors for their secondary, like the patterning too. That's really neat. Great Sandy Desert, blank pattern. Gambia River Basin, Chalco, Rana. Oh, that's actually weird. Two the same. Interesting. Three! Wow. Okay, well, let's just select all of them. 225, wow, that's actually an expensive batch, but it'll help us keep the numbers up. You know what? I'm going to sit on the uh, the copies. Let me just try to get an idea of how many copies we have left. Oh, crap. Okay, they're at the lower limit of their population. I'm going to have to do it. So how's everyone's weekend looking? Anyone got any big plans for the weekend? I know my fellow Canadians are probably going to mostly be recovering from Canada Day. But I understand you folks down south of the border have a big day coming up in a few days as well. I assume you're going to be celebrating that. Okay, dinosaur ready for release. Had an awesome start to my weekend vacation month. Slept 15 hours, my god. I actually have problems if I try to sleep for that long. It's worse than if I just didn't sleep at all. But if that's a good thing for you, then that's amazing. I'm really glad you were able to do that. Oh, wow, look at this little guy. Those colors are awesome. I think your work is making you sleepy. Could be. For myself, it's mostly going to be streaming. We had family in. They're leaving tomorrow. I'm going to probably try and have to get up a little bit early tomorrow to see them off.
That's about the optimum amount, it would seem, but usually can't get back to sleep in nine hours or so. Fitting all of that in a 24-hour period is problematic. Well, the solution there is just longer days, obviously. Oh, wow. I love the purple. Reddish in hue, that's pretty cool. Hammer, how are you doing? It's good to see you. Any big plans for your weekend coming up? If only society would agree on longer days, yeah. Sorry, Lothalus. Damn it. Transit has commenced. Gastroesophageal reflux disease. I know it is not, as a matter of fact. I assume you're talking to me. It is not. Commencing asset transit. Transportation underway. It's a weird question to ask, by the way. <laughs> Hey, Hex, how's it going? Transporting asset. Asset delivered. You mean, if only society would agree on longer days without extending the workday? Yeah, that's a very important point. Extending the length of the day would be very useful unless they actually insisted on making you work more, too. Yep, never be sorry to lurk. Or for lurking, Hex. Never need to be sorry for lurking. Lurkers are the unsung heroes of Twitch. I swear you are the backbone. I lurk tons in people's streams. I have been known to occasionally watch streamers for hours, even ones I know well and talk with frequently, and realize after like three or four hours that I haven't even gotten around to actually saying hello yet. Okay, now, 
can we possibly go a few minutes without having some sort of dead dino emergency? Dead dinos are one thing, but dead dinos pushing us to the edge of problems by leaving the park depopulated. Getting kind of tired of this. Could do without. Thanks. How much money do we need again for the Carnotaurus? One point six million. Yikes. And these guys, I think I'm already pushing it by having only two. I'm fairly certain they want a population of three or more. Who's the alpha among these guys? Not you. Oh, it's you. Huh. Okay. doing okay we're making money star rating is kind of dropping we're down almost to three stars whereas we have gotten pretty darn close to achieving four stars in the past kind of banging our heads against the 3.5 star limit for a while i don't want to do anything too extreme though because i'm trying to save up money to get the carnotars and I keep having to spend it on all these other dinosaurs that I need to replace. Actually, I do wonder, though, are the Majungasaurus potentially maybe a little bit cheaper? They look like they're roughly the same... Um, the same cost... Oh, they're actually naturally a little bit humble. That's pretty cool. I'm not going to work with them right away because I've already got synthesized Carnotaurs. I'm waiting to incubate and just want to get those out. The nice thing about the Majungasaurus, though, the reason I'm curious about those and how expensive they are, is that I can put them in with the Carnotaurs, which will help because we're actually, now that we've lost our Mementisaurus, we're down two species. We lost our Rexes and the Mementisaurus. And so if I get both Carnotaurs and the Majungasaurus, that'll help it get us back up to our 10 species. And I can put them in together here with the Compies, and they like each other enough that it's almost like they're the same species. So that'll be handy. Attention, incoming raid. What? Please report to hospitality stations in a calm and orderly fashion. El Talera, Joduri, and other librarians will aid as need be. Please be ready to disperse library cards. What the heck? Sammy Games, thank you so much for coming in with the raid. I really appreciate that. Welcome on in, folks. How was your stream? What were you playing? Tell me all about it. I would love to know. If you folks have never been here before, my name is Gord McLeod. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. I play a wide variety of single-player story-driven games with excellent character development. I also play strategy games and sandboxy games and a lot of 
well, lately I've been playing more and more retro RPGs and classic adventure games. So if any of that sounds good, please feel free to hit the follow button. I do have a little bit of a video to welcome you in properly as well. Hopefully it won't scare too many of you away. Welcome on in, folks. Let's get the stream started, shall we? Whoa! Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, uh, runaway helicopter. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, shoot. 69 form factor. Aspect ratio. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, crap. Whoa. Yes, whoa. <laughs> okay, that one. Hey, I have not, I have not looted that, sir. May still be coming, actually. There you go. That's a little bit of a preview of what you can expect around these parts. Thank you so much, Sammy Games. I really, really appreciate the raid. Let me get you a quick shout out here. Ah, uh, Gears 5. I hope that went well for you. Uh, let me see. Have you ever played Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen? I have. I streamed it a number of years ago. I didn't finish it. But I played a whole bunch of it, and it was a wonderful game, actually. I really, really liked it. I loved the way they handled the friends lists and the interactions between your character and other people's characters that you could get into your game. I thought that was actually really brilliant and well done, and I'm excited for the sequel. Uh, oh, hang on. I killed the audio here. Where did that go? That's better. Uh, thank you. So, uh, so what brings you by? What were you up to? How did Gears 5 go? I hope that all went well for you. Stream is going pretty well here. We're struggling pretty mightily in uh, this particular Chaos Theory mode. But that's okay. It's a lot of fun. And I'm slowly, just slowly inching my way up. Getting to the point I need to be to get my Carnotaurus. Because... I lost my Tyrannosaur. My last Tyrannosaur died a while back, and hang on a second, I hope that was a Jeep and not an escaped dinosaur. Uh, there we go. Ah, yes, that's a Jeep. Oh, okay, he was... I was looking at that guy. He was running around inside, but from a distance it was not obvious that he was inside his enclosure still. How are the such a Mimus is doing? Speaking of escape artists... They all seem to be okay. Very great game. I cannot wait for the next. Yeah, I was really excited to hear that it's getting a sequel. Gears 5 is fun. It's somewhat mindless and a little nostalgic for you. I have never played a Gears game. But I, you know, every once in a while I keep thinking, maybe I should give one a try. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. 
Uh, okay, what happened here? Low health. Why do you have low health? Starving. Have you considered possibly just, you know, eating food? You've got lots of it in here with you. I've never seen an herbivore starve to death in an enclosure full of plants, but there you go. <clears throat> okay, we're at 800,000. I need to get to, what was it, 1.6? I think it's 1.6. Yeah, 1.6. And then I can finally get the Carnotars. And they won't be an adequate replacement for the Tyrannosaurs, but right now it's significantly better than what we've got. It's basically we've got a... Seriously. I know this is a radical idea, but try eating food. You'd be amazed. I'm going to try something radical as well. If there is... Ah, yes. Oh. You're already overbooked. You. Trank this one, please. I like his coloration. I think the problem is occasionally dinosaurs seem to get stuck and they can't move. So I think maybe we just hopefully need to jostle him free. So we're going to stick him over right in here. And maybe being transported will unstick him. An herbivore model who doesn't want another salad. They want burger. Wow. Delivery complete. There you go. You guys had better not be stuck. I will not be held responsible. Oh, oh, we broke a million. First time in a while that's happened. One point one. I'm thinking once we get the Carnotaurus and the Majungasaurus in the amphitheater pen, I'll start focusing my efforts on getting a replacement for Mementisaurus. Won't be able to get more Mementisaurus, unfortunately. Those are just gone. But we might be able to get a Patasaurus. Aren't Gallimimus omnivores and egg eaters? I don't think the game goes that detailed on their diets. You basically have three different diets that dinosaurs have. They're herbivores, they're carnivores, or they're piscivores. The only other subdivision is within carnivores, whether they hunt live prey or they just eat from regular feeders. Oh, geez, we still haven't even gotten the Tyrannosaur research done yet. <sighs> wow. Medium and large herbivores. Okay, so we're going to have to research the sauropods. But we can get Camarasaurus, and then 
Oh! Look at that. I lied. We will be able to get more Memeji Saurus. I didn't think they included that in the scenario. I thought you just got the ones you got and that was it. Okay, one, uh, one point two. Magic number is one point six, and then actually probably one point eight because I don't want to leave the park vulnerable to immediate bankruptcy. I've made that mistake before. One point three five. Oh no, we're so close. Don't do this to me again. What is this? Oh, it's the last of our original Casmasars. Luckily, these guys are less of a concern. You can just have one of them, and it's fine. And I've got two that are actually pretty new. They're relatively young. So, sorry you're dead, but at least you're not a catastrophe. Asset transportation underway. One point four. So we just need point four more. Four hundred thousand. These guys are the closest we have to big toothy dinosaurs left in the park at the moment. Our only other I mean these are piscivores, they're not even carnivores technically. Our only other carnivores are all these compies we've got running around in here with the goats from when I had Tyrannosaurus. So this whole amphitheater is just for compies. As you enter the venue, you join this on a journey through. One point oh L almost at one point six. Ah, then we just leave a little bit of a buffer. Maybe I'll even push it and just wait for 1.7 because I want to get the Carnotars. I really want the Carnotars. Oh, that pauses it. Then I have to hope that I'm actually correct. I'm hoping I can keep two of them and not have them immediately try to bust out. So you know what I'm going to do? We're just about at 1.7. We're going to get to 1.7 and then I'm going to save the game before I start the incubation in case this goes terribly, terribly wrong. Okay. Pre terrible mistake. I'm just going to go with these guys. Finally.
Oh, good. Okay, no, it says right there. Minimum population two. So we'll be okay. We'll be fine. Might have to make some adjustments to their habitat. Okay, so we're going to release the one over here and the other up here. Oh, look at that glorious green color. I love it. Excellent. you worry, Carnotaurus. You'll have a friend in just moments. Now, how's this one looking? Whoa. Jeez, it really doesn't want me homing in on it. Whoa. Whoa. It really prefers you to look at them on the ground, I think. Oh, they do look quite different, don't they? Nice. Oh, that looks awesome. That's so cool. I love it. Oh, they're content. They are content. Everything's looking good. Perfect. Oh, immediately we're back up to around... 3.5 stars. That means it's gonna... Oh, and we've got people in the stands again, too. That's what I want to see. Now, how's that looking? Local dinosaur appeal, 936. That is perfect. I mean, we could do better. We will do better, but that is a definite step in the right direction. Uh, we can't even begin the synthesis process. Okay, that's fine. Now that we've got the Carnotars. Oh, jeez. Oh my god. Oh, Sandstorm too. And the Carnotars are... Yeah, okay. That's okay. That's okay. Sandstorms are better than Dino Storms. Now that we've got the Carnotaurus, it should be easier to make money. 
and the easier it is to make money, we're going to make it faster. And because we're making it faster, we'll be able to get Majungasaurus pretty quickly. Compared to the Carnotaurus, which took for frickin' ever. Wow. Been trying to get Carnotaurus for hours. Majungasaurus. How's it going, Greeny? I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, but I'll show you in a moment. It's good to see you. How are you doing? Ah, oh, it's so good to have them out of there. Majungasaurus. Might be Majungasaurus. I have no idea. Oh boy, Greeny. I am very sorry to hear that. Surface wounds. Surface wounds. Okay, hopefully it doesn't get any worse than that. There you go. Everyone out of the shelters. We are fine. What's going on here? Low health. Why? Oh, you're hungry. Go eat. There's food for you over here. Well, I'm glad you're okay, Greeny, but I'm sorry you had such a crap day. Now, do we have somebody we can send? Where's our hospital vehicles? It's a ranger team. Uh, that MBU's out on call. That one's available. Oh, that one's already scheduled. Okay. Guess it'll be okay. Where'd our... Carnotauruses go. Oh, there's there they are. Okay. It's been great. I'm sorry to hear that. Well, you know what I mean. Para okay, another one of these guys. Now, they're still content. How's their population looking? Ah, crap. I need to make more again already. On the plus side, I'm not impatiently... I, I mean, I want to make th these guys, but... At least it's not quite as... Atrocious a situation. And these guys are significantly cheap. Oh, you need a break pretty badly. Let's actually unpause the game. I find occasionally that helps.
going to take direct control of this one. Up. Where was the sick compi? Thought he was around here. Guess he's all right now. Okay, so we need seven seven five. That should be comparatively easy now. So we'll just put this on accelerated time. Yeah, we're getting money faster now. That's good. Very good. So it was what, 775 I said? I'll just wait until it's like 8.5. Oh, I missed the park report. I saw it pop up and then because time is going so fast, I only had time to read park report and then it was gone. Another day, another vehicle under threat. Uh-oh. Oh. Okay, we already dealt with rabies, so that'll be cured automatically. Point five. There we go. Oh, you guys need a break too. <laughs> uh, Hakimi, you have to wait. I can't afford to let you have a break. Wow. I should have waited for more than 8.5. Okay, so I'm watching the bear right now, and it's very accurate. I have never heard of this. It's about a chef and things. What are things in this context? I think once we're at 1.5, we can probably afford to give her a break. Oh no. Oh, what? Oh God. One of the Suchos. I didn't think they were getting that close to their limit. These guys are new-ish. 
now we're back to two, and they're lonely. Great. Papaya, how close to your limit are you? Oh, wow, you're already over it? Holy crap. Expected lifespan 62. That's almost as much as the Rex's. Wow. Age 67. It's taking way too long to get this up to a four-star park rating. Wow. I'm watching it. Ah, well, that that's fair, Greeny. Yeah, if you're only just watching it right now and you're near the beginning, then yeah. You can't really be expected to know all the details. Okay, let's see... Okay, there's the first of the newbies. I can't believe the Suchos are going already. That's crazy. That's so crazy. And I can't really afford to... I don't think I can afford to do more, can I? Yeah, it's going to be almost a million to synthesize them, let alone release them. Crap. Asset transported. Transit has commenced. Asset delivery confirmed. I think I'm, at this point, willing to say Jurassic Park San Diego is hell. I really can't wait to get to the next Chaos Theory mode. Okay, maybe... I still needed more... amenities, right? I need food down in this area. The tour path makes that really, really awkward, though. Could maybe try to put it back. No, there's no way. I move the building just slightly. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Okay, fine.
Okay, so a lot of luxury, a fair amount of nature, a bit of general, and just a tiny touch of adventure. Bento sushi would not be my first choice, but it actually looks like it might be one of the better choices given the other options here. It means we don't need as much on the on the luxury side. Play area. Now we need something for the nature folk. Maybe a fossil display. I'll see how that goes. Mm, not quite enough for the greens. There's really not a lot to add for the greens, though. I can do a fountain. I think that's about as good as it's going to get. Profit's not great. But hopefully it'll grow. Oh, yep, it's growing. Okay, that's good. Mo what? Dinosaur threats. Uh, at least we have an actual break in the fence this time. Great. Oh, no! He broke out because the other it's such ah uh, every single time great cool wonderful This could end the park. This might be about it. Don't eat the people. They're, they are not fish. There you go. Now, I wonder who would win in a fight between such a Mimas and Carnotaurus. Oh, also, I guess we need to get rid of the other corpse, too. Oh, uh, situation's contained. Go about your business. It's all good. By the way, please expect a show in the carnivore arena any moment. Now watch it turn out that... Oh god, we're losing money. Watch it turn out that they actually get along perfectly fine. There's going to be no fight. And the thing is just going to break out of this one too. Because he's unhappy without all of his uh, fish. And no company. Asset has been collected. Hey guys, threat back there. No, it's not the jeep. No, other way. No, wrong one. No.
Okay, are we turning this around or are we still losing cash? Well, we're turning it around. Okay, sort of. No, yeah, okay. We're good. I am a little bit disappointed that so far no action has occurred. What's got you all bothered? Oh, you're not actually bothered. Never mind. I'm not sure that they they're actually aware that there is an interloper in their pen. Park fill, you're imminent. Raise cash above zero before time runs out. I think we'll be able to do that. Oh, crap. Oh. <laughs> Cohabitation issue. Shoot. Okay. Until the Sucho broke the fence and now has direct access to a buffet at the hotel... I was thinking we could turn this around, but I think once again we have failed, and I think we're going to have to try again tomorrow. We might start over from the very beginning, because I think we let it run too long, and now there's just too many constant problems keeping us from getting our cash up. I'm not sure. We might, we might still try to salvage this, but I think I've got to go, because I do have to get up a little bit earlier tomorrow. Actually, no, I'm not going to overwrite that. I'm going to leave it. We'll try continuing without saving this, and we'll see how we do. Uh, I don't want to delete the save either. Let's just get out of there. And I'll quit. Okay, folks. This one is hard. This is difficult. And the irony is, uh, off stream... It's been a few weeks. It's been since before the visual effects glitch happened with the NVIDIA drivers, but I had been playing the some of the campaign maps in hard mode, specifically to unlock stuff that we can use in sandbox mode eventually once we you know, eventually get there. So I thought I was getting a handle on the more difficult types of maps. Turns out, not so much. This one is it's really, really tough. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to see if we can work on that. In the meantime, though, that's that's for tomorrow because I think we might end up playing more of this tomorrow for Strategy Saturday. For tonight, I think we're gonna wrap up and see who we've got available to go and raid. So let me get my list of awesome folks. See who we've got available. Laxative Legacy is playing the medium. I don't know much about the medium. It doesn't look familiar. But Lax is on. He's always cool. We can go check out what he's up to. Golden Taiga is playing some Valheim. Hodon Kane is doing Mass Effect 3 multiplayer. So he would be playing classic Mass Effect 3, not the Legendary Edition. Who else do we have? Simcopter1 is playing some Tarkov. T with Mandy is playing Monster Hunter Rise. Itray is continuing her playthrough of Metal Gear Solid. Just no number, just Metal Gear Solid. Uh, it's the, I think it's the first one of the series, or I think there was Metal Gear and then Metal Gear Solid, so it's the first one that was called Metal Gear Solid. What if Julia seems to enjoy Power Wash Simulator because she's still playing it? 
And that's about it for this evening. So if any of that sounds good to you, streamer or game, let me know in chat. And I can't promise you that it will decide where we go, but it will certainly influence where we go. Thanks for the stream and proving Dinos 2 Humanity 0 again. I would honestly call that Dinos 2.5 Humanity 0 because, I mean, we failed last time. We loaded a previous save. We solved the problem that had caused the demise of the park last time, but then we weren't able to actually take advantage of that and accomplish anything significant after it. I kind of want to vote on Chat Plays D&D. &D. <laughs> yeah, the problem is that that's a stupid amount of stress to put on me, so I'm not sure I'm willing to take that on just yet, Greeny. I mean, never say never. I kind of miss it sometimes, too. I would kind of like to do that again at some point. But I, 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 I'm just not ready to face that right now. <laughs> Laxative Legacy for Jarig and Power Wash Simulator for JH. Oh, no, Greeny. Try it sometime. Streaming is stressful. DMing is stressful. Playing more than one character at the same time is stressful. Try doing all of that together. All at once. It's, trust me, it's stressful. You can't know until you do. Yes, and I could do it, Greeny. I'm just saying, it's bad. I don't want to. <laughs> no, not next week. For sure, not next week. Um, uh, Let me see. You know, I'm kind of curious about Power Wash Simulator. Maybe we should go visit Julia. Oh, you mean the Baldur's Gate 3 update? Oh, gotcha, Greeny, gotcha. Okay, Baldur's Gate 3 next week. Well, that's maybe something that we could talk about. Ended on a pun, maybe. You got it. You got it. We can do that. All right. Why did the man buy a book full of puns? He wanted to be well equipped. I can confirm that's 100% accurate. That's why I have books full of puns. For occasions like this, when you redeem them. Last time when they put up Barbarian, it was instant update after the panel. So if and if, yes. Okay, we're going to go raid What If Julia. Julia is a wonderful streamer. She's been a friend of the channel for a while now. She is fantastic. Very chill, very fun, uh, really good content. I am not entirely sure what kind of game Power Wash Simulator is, other than the obvious. It's a simulation of power washing, so there's that. Uh, but, you know, I expect it to be a kind of a low-key, chill sort of experience along the line of House Flipper, that sort of deal. So that should be fun. Let's get over and see how she's enjoying it. This is not the first time she streamed it, so she must be enjoying it to some extent. Then my OG bard will show up. That is really cool, Greeny. I actually, I do like bards. We might have to take another look at Baldur's Gate if that's true. We'll see. On the other hand, I might wait for the next update after this one and see how that goes and see where that leaves us. So let's go raid What If Julia. There is her link. Let me get you the raid goal. Here at the Library of Lore, we use Library Raid. You've been bookmarked with the heart emote and wave emote of the channel. If you're a sub, 
you are not a sub, you can use the Twitch Raid and the Tomb Raid emotes. In either case, sub or non-sub, you are always welcome and encouraged to use any emote you feel is fun and appropriate for a raid. If you have emotes of your own, if there are other emotes from other streamers you'd like to use, or if there are other Twitch emotes you want to use, just copy the raid message, arrange the emotes you want to use the way you want them to appear. It'll all be good in my book. So let's get over to Julia's channel, see what she's up to with Power Wash Simulator, see how clean she's managed to make all these houses that it, I'm seeing in her thumbnail. And I will be back tomorrow night. Tomorrow is uh, tomorrow is Saturday, so tomorrow's going to be Strategy Saturday, which means, uh, as I mentioned earlier, we are most likely to be playing more of this game, so that should be fun. There is the possibility I might switch it up and do maybe some more Satisfactory, but I almost kind of see Satisfactory as more, more Maker, less Strategy, so it kind of fits better in my head under Maker Monday than Strategy Saturday, but it's a little bit flexible. We could do either or, uh, but you know, whatever it is we end up playing tomorrow, it's going to be a good time anyway, so I hope to see you back here for some of that. So let's get over to Julia's. I'll see you over there. Uh, actually, before we head over, let me just real quickly load up her channel so I can see that we're not raiding into a break or something. Nope, she is actively playing. Excellent. All right, so I will see you hopefully over in Julia's channel in just a moment and back here tomorrow night for some more gaming goodness. Have yourselves a wonderful rest of your night, day, evening, whatever it is where you are in the world. Happy Canada Day a few hours late to my fellow Canadians. And a happy pre-July 4th if I don't see any of my American neighbors to the south over the next few days. I hope you have a fantastic weekend full of lots of good food. Even if you don't have anything in particular to celebrate this weekend, just hope you have a good one. So, bye for now, folks. Oh, that didn't work. Try again, will you? Come on. You got a shot. Nope, 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 not you. There we go. That's better. Thank you. I am so confused. Oh, nope, nope. Ah, crap. Whoa. Just hey, as soon as I finish looting. Great gears, you're alive. Uh, would you mind applying a little leverage? Just give me half a second. Priorities first, sir. <laughs> 